Good evening, and welcome to the stream. I hope this button works. Yeah, push it the second time. There you go. Hello. Good evening. I hope everybody is having a fantastic Tuesday. Dan B, greetings and salutations. You say first, but stream elements bot beat you to it. Mahahaha. Kaboom. Hello. Good evening. It's Tuesday. Tuesday's a good day. It's I was going to say the winter solstice. No, it's not. It's the summer solstice. It's the longest day of the year. All the sun was out, and now it's gone away. At least here it has. It's gone away. It's all gone dark now. But it's nice. It's nice. It's all fantastic. A really, really good, a good thing. You know, it's a. It's, we are halfway through the year. British summer time starts today. A bit late. Never really gets going. But we accept that. Daryl, hello. Welcome, welcome. I hope you are having a good Tuesday. Hope all is good, all is fantastic, all is wonderful. Um, yes, yes. Um, kaboom, as you said, there, major, trucks will be a major project. Yes, we need to upgrade all of our vehicles to trucks. That'd be a good thing. However, however, there have been some updates, and one of the updates is copying belts. You can actually copy transports now. Belt pipes, they do some weird things. Apparently, I was watching um, Kazanir uh, play earlier on today, and uh, he was having issues with the copying of pipes, which is. Yeah, um, sun, not sun, it's been cloudy here all day. It was cloudy this morning and then it came out beautiful this afternoon. It was wonderful here in the UK, absolutely fantastic. Well, the south of the UK. Um, the sun was shining, there was a nice cool breeze. It makes my job fantastic being a delivery driver, being out in the world. I love it, I love it. So, yeah. Night last. Oh, was he playing it as well? Oh, awesome! I should, uh, I should, I should check that out. Actually, I, you know, I, I can imagine some of the stuff he'll come up with. His Factorio stuff is fantastic. Um, right. Okay. So, shall we jump over? Um, I have been. I've been watching. <laughs> let's let's jump over. And and the first thing, um, obviously, let me get out of the way. Zoom. Oh, me. I'm gonna leave the chat over there for a minute. I don't know if it's gonna be all right over there. Um, if it's in the way, let me know. Because uh, a lot of a lot of boxes, when I click them um, on stuff, they, they 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 open up over here sometimes. So we'll leave chat there. If it's in the way. Over there. Has some buildings to pay for. Yeah, he's he's, he's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. But um, uh, the first thing is we're on year um uh. 343 okay i've watched other people be way further ahead at half the time so i'm really slow at this game but that's fine because there's no time limit, so i don't mind that that's okay i've also seen people build this this setup this exact setup like what i've got here um uh, they just double up the uh thing set so obviously i'm happy i've got this right here um so that's good but there was another thing um, this this build down here this build down here this build is fantastic and brilliant and wonderful and i love it to bits and it's really good and it looks good and it's functional it's fantastic and the reason it works is because we did plan this one we were talking last stream about not planning things just slapping them down here this one was planned i actually i found the the book i have the book right here let me, let me grab let me grab the book when things are written down and it's got it's it's got lines and things like that but it's, it basically tells me how many pumps i need um, how many distilleries, how many this, that, and the other, and, and blah, 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 everything needed to do it. All the other stuff I've just slapped down haphazardly. So I'm going to get that out. I'm going to get a pen. Pen ready. So I can write stuff down in the future for me to do things. And we won't have to worry about it all falling apart. That's hopefully, hopefully the way to do it. Um, they're letting the hedgehogs drive trucks now. Sure, old dog used a car to her cheek, but I thought that was crazy. Um, an orangutan drive a golf cart i've seen that video the orangutan driving the golf cart around the zoo that's that's really good that is that's really really good um uh and of course hedgehogs would drive trucks because they wouldn't drive cars because cars run over hedgehog so they'll drive the bigger things and run over the cars that's what we do we just go bigger and badder and um, or slide down hills on on a i was gonna say a skateboard but it wasn't a skateboard it was a uh 
Wasn't it a door to a helicopter in Sonic Adventure 2? Yeah, he slid, slid down the, the road on the, on the door to a helicopter and smashed cars up because that's what Sonic does. And that's something to aspire to. Uh, the guys, what a, the guys, okay. Um, not seeing much here, is it any good? It is, in my opinion, fantastic. One of the best games I have played all year. I'll be honest with you, it, one of the best games I have played all year. Um, it's got so much to it. For a game that's only basically been out in early access for what, a week and a half, two weeks now? You, you, you just click on the on the research tree and, and you zoom out of the research tree and you go all the way back, you start here and then you go, look, there's a whole page there. There's another whole page there. There's another whole page there. And then there's a little bit on the end. And that's early access research tree. So what more is there to come? I, 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 I'm just, wow. Wow, love it absolutely love it and then and then you've got the world map as well and it's just, I just this game is brilliant I, I love it absolutely love it hedgehogs in a hummer it's like cows with a gun there was a board game called hedgehog's revenge i played many many years ago and the hedgehogs were driving stream steamrollers and the idea is that you have to go and crush the cars or the fat businessman uh on oh the uh the foxes what the foxes was the horses would ride fat businessmen being chased by a fox that sort of thing it was weird a bit weird um there's something called cows with guns cool um something has gone wrong here i'm not quite sure what it is truck cannot deliver waste no valid destination well, why don't we have is this done is this done this is done Okay, that's interesting. Uh, well, what I want to do then is um, cancel that. We'll cancel this dump over here. But um, um, but yeah, the guys. To answer your question more importantly, if if you enjoy production chain games, where you have to get resources and make resources into newer things to sell that, you will enjoy this. You will enjoy. It. If you enjoy Factorio, Factory Town, uh, any game sort of like that. Um, uh, what was the other one that was going to be the production one? There was Good Company, I just saw. That's one to say, I actually need to buy that. Um, uh, yeah, all, all those sort of ones. If you enjoy those, you will definitely enjoy this. Um, I do need to do something over here. We're getting Cargo Depot 2, so I would like to build maybe a peninsula just poking out the end here so we can put Cargo Depots on it. And then, I don't know how we'd pump stuff in. We'd have to figure out a way of pumping stuff in, but we've got space here to do things anyway. Um, because these cargo depots are great, but you can't upgrade the cargo depots from one to two. Um, so yeah, um, if if you enjoy if you enjoy Factorio at its core, the whole the mining, the processing, the creating, the building, the long production chains, you will definitely enjoy this. Definitely enjoy this. Um, but yeah, the the cargo hubs, the cargo depot two. You can't upgrade the cargo hubs to number two. You have to replace them. So yeah um so let's just build a giant and i might i'm gonna risk it. i'm gonna build it this way and if it makes this break then we'll figure it out later um but we'll give it a try because i i'm i'm convinced that it's far enough away. it might break this one this one's a bit close to it but then the trade depot i'm not fussed about we can rebuild that anywhere um uh, also what i'm thinking of doing is rather than put it there i might put it down by one And then we can put a lovely layer of dirt on top. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Ah, no, we'll just we'll just do it at the at the top level. So that's the easiest way. So what if we went like three wide and uber long? Because I don't know what sort of connections you'll need in the middle, and I would definitely like to have more space than not enough. So we'll do that. There we go. Now they've got somewhere to do the things. This is still doing the sand here. If it ever gets to it, that'd be fine. Hmm. Okay. Um, we could also put a waste collection over here. Um, if we wanted to do like up the back or do something, I don't know. Go big, go, go. Yeah. They're still saying they've got no way to dump stuff, but I think that's because I think I, 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 I'm guessing, but I think a truck claims a tile when it's dumping. So no other truck comes and does it. 
So that's why some of them will still say, hey, there's nowhere for me to dump, even though there's clearly space for it, because they can only obviously dump to one tile along here. So. Oh, we actually missed off one off the end here as well. Maybe we should do. Oh, no, no, do that, that one there. That's, that's, the, that's the size we chose. Okay, there we go. We'll just let them dump into the water there. They can do the thing there. Doing the plinter. But we need vehicle parts. We need new vehicles. So I want to set up a vehicle part production thing. And possibly... Um, yes. Our diesel production is really struggling. And I'm not quite sure why. Um, this is full of steam. This is full of steam. This is... Sour water. Sour water is not going anywhere. I feel like I need to adjust this to allow the sour water to also be dumped out. Didn't really... The, the add-ons to this were not planned very well. At all. At all. Uh, you're dumping wastewater because of this here. This, this is what basically is running our diesel. And I would really like this to not be running our diesel. I'd like this to not be running. So I need to dump the sour water somewhere, which is this line here. Right, wait for a minute, please. Um, oh no, you're you're actually not. No, sour water. You're full of sulfur. Because we're full of acid. What else can we use sulfur for? What else? Can we We're gonna need to build more vehicle parts and bump the yeah, yeah, stuff, stuff from there. Yeah. Um, oh, that's another change as well. Um, you notice here there is now output and input custom routes. So you can say, um, uh, you, you can say where the stuff comes in and where it goes out to. Um, Conveniently, all of the uh, mines that we have that had custom routes, they were only outputs. So you see here, this is output routes. So you can say, hey, this output. And then if you wanted to fill this hole, you could say, hey, you bring dirt in. So you only put dirt on the ground if you wanted to. So, so you've got a better a better way of doing it now. Um, and you see they also have lines as well. They have arrows that move very, very slowly saying, this is going to here. Naha. Uh -huh. um, which is fantastic. Really, really, really good. I really like that. I should probably move these down here actually to save the trucks having to drive back and forward so much, but I think we're okay for that. Um, I can't remember if there's another change as well, and I can't remember what the other change is. Obviously, copy and belts now. Copy. Oh, it highlights belts. It pastes belts, um, which is really good. But apparently, it does weird things with um, uh, pipes above ground. Like, like, you see, we've got all these pipes all lined up here kind of nicely so trucks can get by underneath. Um, if you copy them, um, uh, it's even copying the stuff underground, which is interesting. Uh, but if you copy them and put them in the same place, the support pylons are not in the same place, which is annoying. Very, very annoying. So, um, And apparently you can copy stuff underground, which I did not know about, but it won't let you place them underground, which is fine. Okay, so right. When you get better resource hauling, uh, you won't be able to get your... When you get better resource hauling, you won't be able to get your sour water factory built. Well, we've got a sour water factory thing built here, doing the thing. So, um, yeah, it it just it it appears to randomly put in pylons, uh, as if you were starting the pipe here and doing the pipe there. It's it's basically it's trying to rebuild them, and then it automatically generates the pylons, which doesn't line up to where you are. However, apparently, if you copy. A blueprint, it does copy where the pylons go. That's just going on what I've seen other people do, which is weird. Yeah, the sour crate, yeah, this 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 bit on the end here was not was not designed very well. And very in the pipe's not designed very well. We may have to rebuild this anyway, because I think when we get the larger re the larger um uh, only reason I have. Wasn't we going to make a. 
Why did we do this? Didn't we make a beeline into somewhere because we wanted to get something somewhere? I can't remember. I can't remember what we were doing. I've got all these things green. Uh, I've done that. Uh, oh yeah, the um, the storage the storage is large. I think a larger footprint. So you can't upgrade the storage twos to storage threes. They're a larger footprint. So we might have to redesign things anyway when it comes to that one. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. Got, wasn't it glass making we wanted to get to? Because it was it was busted. It was in the wrong place, which we did now. But that's fine. Uh, sulfur can be made into rubber acid fertilizer too. Um, yeah, they're like they're 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 not quite that big though, aren't they? They're they're like a there's four tanks worth of storage, but they're not quite four tanks size. So. Uh, but yeah, so sulfur. Um, oh, I can't right click on that. Oh, interesting. Right click on that one. Uh, sulfur can be used to make um, yeah diesel sulfur makes rubber. Which is fine. Um, you can burn sulfur if you want to. That's really, really bad. Um, you can make acid, which we did. You can make slag. Why you'd want to do that is beyond me. Um, and the other stuff we haven't got open yet. Uh, I think our rubber production here uh, doing really well. Uh, what I may want to do is now these are fifteen, so you're not you won't use the sulfur there. You'll use the sulfur here. This is a higher priority. Um, if it gets rid of the excess, that is true. That is true. Maybe we should just burn it off for the minute. Can't be good burning sulfur. That can't burn sulfur. Cannot be good at all. Oh, smokestack. No uh, flare. Uh, burner. Solid burner. Um, Forty-eight air pollution. Make slag. Do we need slag? I, I'm, I'm concerned about building something else, and um, then. Uh, so yeah um, I am shipping sulfur in uh, but we're not using it I've, I've, it's a lower priority the two things are a lower priority so the, the trucks will always get it from the storage first before they get it from anywhere um, yeah I don't but the thing is that we don't this, this is slag yeah This is slag, which is fine. We're full on concrete. Um, I mean, can't you? Actually, yeah, no. If we, if we, if we, you can dump slag, can't you? Yeah, you can dump slag. So yeah, if we, um, if we. Uh, Yeah, build a little thing that turns limestone into slag, then it can be used in places and then anything that's not there can just be dumped. And it will keep things going. So that makes sense. That makes sense. I might do it up here though. Uh, which is a long way away from this, but the trucks are fine. Plus if we start making glass and things like that for the vehicle parts, that'll be fine. Um this this thing here we um it's not being used, as I said, because it's a low priority, they're not they're not emptying this at all. It's just being being left. Um so I don't have to worry about it. And I've got nothing else to pick up for the minute. I, I have no other reason to pick up anything here right now. So um, I might as well just leave it as it is for the time being. Um, right. Okay. So right. Rubber. Sulfur. Sulfur can be used in a mixer with limestone to make slag. Okay. So yeah, that's what I was going to do up here because limestone's. So let's get ourselves a mixer. Yeah, minute. Uh, this one's to do uh, no, no, that one. That one. So it wants limestone and slag. Um. facing the wrong direction but it doesn't matter uh where's hello that is the plan the plan is to upgrade uh everything with 
with large trucks. So. I'm just going to say, hey, trucks, you don't even need to do that. Just build. Let's use our unity. Goes wasted otherwise. Yeah, the plan, the plan today is to build everything we need to make. Uh, make the big trucks. But we currently have an issue where we're running low on diesel. Um, because our diesel plant is not doing the correct thing. Yeah. But hopefully the trucks will start doing that. So I want to build the thing here. Going this way. Smack bang in the middle is where we're going to make the vehicle parts. Uh, and then we might even move the vehicle uh, depot to be up here. Um, I assume there's a vehicle parts Mark 3 as well. I assume that. That's just... Yeah, just... That's just... Just believe that. Um, I don't think you can... No, you can't cut. You still can't do cut and move so that you'd move the buildings and it would just pick the big zone, but no. Um, so maintenance might get moved over to here. And the vehicle depot will become more central because I like having this. Maintenance can be on the side, that's absolutely fine. I, li I like having the idea of the vehicle depot being centered. So what do we need to make vehicle parts? What can it be made in? Can vehicle parts be made? Right, so vehicle parts can be made in the assembler, the manual one. They can be made in the electric one, and then you need the assembler three to make vehicle parts mark two. Okay. So I don't know how many we want. Um if we go for I'll figure it all out for one, and then if we want to double it or triple it up, we can just just double it and triple it up. It'd be fine. It'd be easy. You figure it all out for one, and then yeah. Yes, a manual one doesn't. That's that's why I want to. I want to prefer. I prefer to use them. They are slower. They are much slower. So we have to build multiple of them. But I'd much rather use as many of these as possible because they don't need maintenance. They just work without maintenance. So even if things start breaking down, they work. They do the things. Um. The only annoying thing is that you could not. Uh. uh well, actually, the, yeah. For some bizarre reason, these are electric. I don't know why I built these as electric. That requires 24 mechanical parts every minute. And these produce 12 every minute. I don't know why I made them electrical. Basically, we should have had four manual ones running one maintenance depot. Yeah. Yeah, I upgrade them to that. Yeah, because this wasn't bad. But we'll, we can rebuild this. We can rebuild this anyway, because this is, this is kind of... Yeah, we can rebuild it. So, we'll start here. so groundwater pump has no resources to extract. Okay, so our power system is reliant on trucks now. They are extremely busy. Let's hope that all works. I'm not. Let's hope that all works. Okay, so in order to make vehicle parts mark two. Um, Um, electric assembler can can use the steel into mechanical parts recipe. Yes, that's true, but you can also use iron into mechanical parts. And iron's a lot easier to get and a lot 
cheaper to get and you can do it in the manual assemblers which don't require electricity or maintenance so they're they help if you've got the space to build them they help if you haven't got the space it makes sense to upgrade them uh, we've got plenty of space here so we can deal with having four assembly machines instead of one there because people not really struggling with workers we're fine for workers not a problem uh so we need Oh dear. What I need to do is write stuff down so I can actually read it again. Because there's no point in doing doctor's handwriting and uh on there. Uh we do have steel to use, but then it would be an assembly machine three doing the thing, which uses far more electricity and maintenance parts and other bits and pieces. Kind of why would I want to use maintenance parts to build them when I can do the manual one which doesn't do them? And yeah, <laughs> steel is going to be used for vehicle parts as well. So, uh, three steel and three, three glass. Okay, and in here, to make three of them, we need iron, mechanical parts, electronics. Um, I'd much rather try and build everything in situ and just kind of deliver the plates directly uh, yeah it would it would cut down um it would i mean yeah if you use steel then it would cut down that because the steel the steel recipe um, which i can't do in there um, damn it. Uh, the steel recipe to make them makes 24 out of 12 steel makes 24 instead of 59 making 12. um so it would make a lot more mechanical parts so then obviously if you did steel You'd only be using the steel plates would basically become a one-to-one -one ratio which is fine but you've got to look at the infrastructure required to build all the steel to make all the steel to do it you've got to take the iron you've got to turn the iron into molten iron and then you've got to change that into another place into here whereas just making the iron is easier it uses less um maintenance all these vehicles use maintenance so that, so this is using 2.4 this is using uh oh, they don't, apparently the cold caster doesn't use maintenance interesting um uh okay so so this, this one is using 2.4 and then the electric assembler uses uh four and we're already cut down by six six point four on the mechanical parts we've, we've used 6.4 just to make the steel to make the parts so you're not getting as much back as if you just did everything and these don't use maintenance parts at all so if you have the space it makes sense to use the smaller buildings because they don't use power they don't use maintenance so they're not doing a bigger drain on your system whereas if you don't have the space and you're trying to cram things in yeah it makes so much more sense to go for the mark 3 and then use the steel because it's more efficient and blah blah, blah but but we don't need that right now we're not yeah yeah we might switch over to it as i said once i get this working and doing its thing but but right now i need to do everything i can as uh um scrimp and saving as i possibly possibly could uh so we're gonna need uh two of these buildings for one assembler three there is that Three uh, plates which are being made anywhere else. That's fine. Uh, 1.5 mechanical and 1.5 electronic. Okay. So that's three and three. Three, three, and six, which is fine. Um, you can make six there I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way that maybe we can build this in a in a way that we only deliver iron and copper plates essentially and like maybe rubber or something um though we are making the electrical parts um we're making a lot of them here so we could just import the electronic parts as well i don't know i don't know whether it's better to have each place in to do individual things kind of like factorio and then you sort of have a bus uh, these the trucks replace the bus so you make an area that does the electronic circuits like we have and then you make an area that does the rubber like we have here um and then 
Yeah. Um, it could make its own rubber. Rubber is very easy to make, although it does require diesel. Um, we are making plenty of rubber here, but it could make its own rubber. I was just trying to think, is there a way to just basically do it so you're just dropping the iron plates in? But if we're making the electronic parts anyway, then we might as well just, just feed off the electronic parts. I think a central bus would actually kind of work in this game because you can build up and down as well. So you can put, put uh, belts on top of things. So I feel like you could potentially have a central bus that basically you have assemblers making everything that can be made um, on a central bus. That would kind of work. Um, can get cheap diesel. You can't get cheap diesel with sour water. So basically, it's it's a two to one. It's a two to one. I need I need two of these making vehicle parts to one of these making vehicle parts two. Okay, this is not this is not the build. I'm just visualizing stuff myself. So, so you would both be making vehicle parts. You would be making vehicle parts mark twos there you would also need to have steel and glass come in as well what the devil um yeah so we'd have to do have to have more inputs like on the side over here i also want to kind of look at this from a, a need, i need to be careful of space because the trucks need things this is where i wish you had roads i know we've got um we've got these things here but i wish you had roads even if just just like an indicator down the road i've seen some people dig a trench and then fill it with rock so you know where your roads are going to be i like that that's a much bigger project i'll do this here is not permanent this is supposed to be elsewhere so that's another thing there. So, but I need to make sure I leave a gap here, and uh, I really do feel like moving this waste collector is going to be a better idea. I just don't know where to move it to. We can put it over here. I think that's going to be the best, the best, best solution. Let's put it over. there um, and we'll put a small storage this one and that frees up that line down there so then I know that this this is our line coming down so um, yeah I'm gonna do a line coming down there like that and that frees up space for us there which means I can put the delivery things on this side kind of where these ones are here so this that would be a fantastic idea and we could turn them i don't know why i put them facing straight ahead for this one i just did i don't know why i suppose actually that makes a bit more sense because then you can curve the belts coming out of it and not right but then you can't do that we'll, we'll, we'll do it this way we'll do it this way so let's say we're going to start basically here this needs to be empty come on empty 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 Uses level terrain to place the expected railway. Level terrain? Uh, 
and our power grid is failing, which is not surprising. Not surprising at all. Um, Uh, okay, I need to address this first. Yeah, you can you can you can do um like this here and, and, and do that. That's that's fine. That's that's doable. The problem is when you're um mind you when you're building it shows, doesn't it? That's what I was getting. I was like, why was that oh yeah, when you're building it shows. That makes perfect sense. That makes perfect sense. Um, I have seen some people, as I said, dig down one level and then fill it in with just stone. You put down things in just stone, so then you know that's your road. But that does make sense. But we need to, we need to address this. This is not working. So I need. To. Um... Over here. You just pump in some water, and then we're going to run some water out to these because this this is important. This is important. This needs running. This ironically over here is going to be where our new power plant is. So, uh, um, right. What do I need to turn seawater into? What's the thing? as well ah the one that doesn't need coal thermal detonator take seawater and steam to produce water and brine okay right no i need coal yep um uh, we've actually got the uh the i oh know we haven't got the bigger storage we've got bigger cargo ones so uh Come on, brain. Come on, brain. Chill out. Chill out. Right, how much do you produce? You produce 120. You use 60, so it's 2 to 1. Tank storage. Uh, four water tanks. Where? What do you mean by four water tanks? But for seawater coming in, or for um. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, we've got, we've got, um, we've got water tanks here. Where I'm going to feed into the back of these, so these ones fill up. But yeah, over here, I think we should store lots of water. And just have this running like all the time, um, and then the trucks can come and get water should they need to. That does make absolute perfect sense. Uh, might do more than four. Might even do more than four. Um, right. So, what's this? This needs seawater. This needs seawater, that will give me the correct connection points. So seawater, Brian comes out. Brian, I'm just going to dump back in the ocean. Um, so. Uh, we'll do this.
we'll do this so they actually line up. There you go. That's better. Oh. Can I move them? Yes, we can. There we go. We'll do that. Right. Oh, are they one? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't leave. Uh, is it just one tunnel or is it two for the large ones? I thought it was two. Go with one. So one per side. What is it? One on every side, because that is two tiles between them. Are they one tile bigger on? The, yeah, I think they're one tile bigger on every side, aren't they? One left and one top. Okay. So just leaving a one gap between them would work. Right. Okay. We'll go. We'll go with that. It's, I mean, we can always delete them and just put them in again if it all goes wrong anyway. Does not matter. Does not matter. Also, that allows trucks to get in there. If it, if it's wrong when we get to it, we can just delete them and because it's not not going to be not going to be difficult. Uh, we need salt to do. We have we've got salt. We have salt coming. That's not a problem. Uh, oh. That's not gonna work. That's not the correct. Um. can't come up oh okay okay no I I, I I get that I get that I get that. there you go yep Is that better then we do that there we go okay and then we want to have our smoke stacks uh the large one's not a three by three, is it? It's a two by two, isn't it? Yeah, two by two. We'll go with smokestacks. And there we go. That should do the thing. Okay, and then I'm just going to use all my unity to build that. Boom. It makes life so much easier doing that. Just instant delivery. Instant delivery of stuffs. Holding it, I want it to be an up full there, and I want to kind of make this a higher priority. Can't instant deliver goods, unfortunately. That's another thing. And then what I need to do is build a huge pipeline going over the top of the world. Um, I don't know why these are mocked. I could have used Mark 1 to it, doesn't particularly matter. Um, I don't know whether I can just build over the top of. Nope, can't build over the top of that. We 
don't want to anyway because of stuff and things. But let's come down there instead. And we go over that. Let us go over that. You go around it. Whatever. Right, where are we going to? Over here. Right. Oh, that's true. I have to be able to get a truck to the line we want to build. That is true. That is very true. Which is not what we want. Oh, boom, boom, like that. Okay. Uh, let me just unity up this whole thing. There we go. Boom. Use all the unity. Instant transportation. Oh yeah, and the brine. We need to deal with the brine. Um, you produce 24 brine. Can we the dump just deal with brine? Sixty, yep, yeah, one can deal with. Obviously, otherwise trucks can't get to where we want to go to. Boom. And then you want to connect to there. Yeah, that's that's terrible. Whatever. Okay. them two in together. That makes sense. Ah, okay. So the longer you build it, the longer it takes to build, which which completely makes sense. So, yeah. So you should definitely build it in smaller segments than that. <laughs> okay, so Brian should be able to jump out here. You can deal with uh, 60 and you're only producing 24 so that's 48 so yeah, that should be fine that should be good to go okay okay that's that's our power system sorted there all right so back here so if we're going to go with two to one and i also need space in between for other things as well we need steel and glass delivery so let's move that out well one there at the very least Let's move that up to the next sort of tier. Um, so build storage parts once for the minute. Uh, right, what do you need? What do you need to make it? You need iron mechanical parts and electronics. So you're going to require three different sizes of. Uh, Uh, 
then you require glass and steel, which means you need two of the ones. So we can start you one, two. That should be okay. We should be able to get up there. I don't think we will be able to get up there. We probably need a little more space in between that. So let's go over to that look there. And then we can go you, go into that one. You, uh, you can you come along? I don't think that's going to work. Nope. Nope. You. Do that. I'll go into there. You want to go up by one. And you want to go up by two. You connect to nope that one. You connect to that one. Then same here. Boop. Boop. all good okay uh, and then I need to move this over because um, these two are going to join as to one one uh, one connection so you just go into there you connect to that one there you go uh, you are going to want to go up by one then you're going to go up want to go up by two i think you go into that one which you can't do uh oh yeah, no, you you can't do that because why can't you do that three tiles that was too tall you can connect to there and there's no way for me to get you you have to do some weird jiggery pokery get down there don't you um, or we could just move this parts up one tile and put parts on one end um it is is that this this belt this race belt here is too too close to it um but that that'll be fine that that'll work that'll work doesn't have to worry we've got we've got the space we've got the space that's not a problem and then then we can use the magic copy tool to copy Well, this is going to be glass and steel, isn't it? So this one's going to be steel. Doesn't matter which order they go in. This one's going to be glass. And then the vehicle parts it requires are here. So the vehicle parts come in.
parts one closest to us. The, 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 wait, well, well, these are vehicle parts, these ones. We're making the vehicle parts Mark 1s here, and the Mark 2 just require the addition of glass and steel. Why does it matter what slot they go into? The reason the belt from here couldn't get there is because this this belt here was too close. It needs th at least four tiles, doesn't it? Because it's three tiles if you can do a slope. So I just need to move that out by one or two tiles so that the actual belt could get over this belt and then come down. That was the problem. I mean, I could have actually chosen this belt here, and then it would have come down underneath it. You know, I could have, I could have actually um, uh, got rid of that and done. Uh, that was not the correct button. I could have done it here. Like that. Ah, I'm pushing X to delete things. I'm pushing X to delete things. Um, you, no, I think I know what you're trying to explain here. I just don't understand why, why, why. I don't understand why about it because I just had to move that out by two tiles. That was it. Fix the whole thing. And I did that, and you're still explaining something else. I don't understand why you're explaining it. That's, that's the problem. But if I'd moved this one out, then I could have just done... Uh, this does not come down the way I expected it to come down. Okay, I expected you to be able to come down and go underneath here, but apparently you cannot. Okay. Okay. I, I thought that belt could come down and get underneath this belt here. But it cannot. Yeah, it, it needs six to come down, but I thought it could come down. It's got one, two, three, four tiles to get underneath this belt. But apparently that's not enough for it. Yeah, it can't it can't get down underneath the belt to actually be physically underneath it, which is which surprises me. It surprises me a little bit that it can't do that. I would have thought it could have been able to. So So that's that's the closest I can have it, no matter where thing that's the closest I can put the the building to do that yeah yeah I just I just honestly thought that it would have been able to get down with a one, two, three, f with, with, yeah, four lines. So that's the fifth one. So it should, it should actually, following its own rules, be able to fit underneath there. But because you can't have a slope too close to another belt, it won't let you do it. Even though by its own rules, there is enough space in between here to get the belt down far enough to fit underneath this one. The game says no. there yeah. okay. okay so that that is that is the closest without having belts to around do the things this is this is the closest i can do it um 
well actually it's not it's not that's gonna do it because potentially this belt doesn't have to be that high this belt can be one so we could put the thing back to where it was which is only, only still two tiles only saving two tiles <laughs> it's not whatever happens because of the uh because we have to raise belts up somewhere that's the closest that building can be which means we could do the same here as well you we could actually bring that down by one and have it go down on the floor but then it would have to go up and over that anyway so so that's fine that's absolutely fine that's not a problem that's 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 good enough for me that's good enough for me we've got vehicle parts uh yeah well when this is built i don't see any trucks having to come in here they just go around the outside what i am thinking however is we may still need access to vehicle parts mark one for something in the future i don't know what but we may do These only require vehicle parts mark two though, so I don't know. I don't know if we ever make a little pickup or anything in the future. I don't know. I'm just wondering whether there might be something that requires it. We can always get it from here anyway, but um and if I did need that I'd have to put in yeah, I'm go I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna rebuild this. Um Purely because I want to have vehicle part marks one stored just in case we need them. Um, so we're going to do this, which makes the whole build bigger, but I'll build very what the I cut that I did not copy that right, oh and then uh and copy this is that correct and it can go wherever really and go there and this can go there and then we just connect up the uh the lines No, see, it's it's adding, yeah, it's adding um, supports for it. So even if you copy blueprints, it still adds supports for it. So that doesn't do the way it wants to do. So. There we go. So that makes it a bit bigger, but that's okay because now we can just copy this segment of it and paste it in there. Like that. How many would you make? You'll be making. Oh, you didn't. I, I was holding shift. I was holding shift for that whole copy thing, and you went no. Nope, we're not going to do that. Right there we go. Okay, and that. Apparently, this does not have. The vehicle part mark two added to it anymore. Okay. The cut, the 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 cut and paste thing. If you don't, if you don't hold shift once for it, it just breaks the whole thing, which is, I mean, it's not a big deal. Not a big deal. It's just, just annoying, you know. I've 
Let me see. Oop. What? How dare you? And it's an invalid connection because of. Go out of there. There we go. There we go. I don't know why I didn't get there. Um, a pain in the underwear. Yes, indeed. Boom. And then we'll copy this. And we're going to run a belt into the back there, like that. There we go. And then you are going to be assigned vehicle park mark twos. And then we can put this up here. you can plug into there because as far as I'm aware you only need that I don't know why it's got a water connection oh diesel it needs diesel things don't it yeah rubber diesel so it's gonna get vehicle parts the rest is gonna be delivered via um whatever for its own thing but yeah there we go that's a lot bigger than I thought but it is tileable still so well not tileable because I've not been building it to the tiles um for it to be proper tileable I'll have to build it in the individual tasks for it to be properly tarable, but but I think that's good. And then we're going to use all our unity to only use 34 unity to quick deliver everything. So, boom, there you go. None tr no trucks have to come. Apparently, it's not going to do everything with all the uh, the belts though, which is interesting. Um, didn't do the rest of the belts. Don't know why I didn't do the rest of the belts. That's weird. Yeah, we still need some belts connected. That's right. That's okay. And uh, the, apparently the Unity thing did not tell it to do everything, which is very interesting. I'm very, very confused by that. Why did the Unity not say, do, no, I don't want you to, I want you to build the things now. Build things. Build things. No? Why not? What's wrong with that? What's wrong? What's wrong? Why, why no? We have oh you've got rubber oh i bet we don't i bet we've a bit uh, 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 no yeah yeah no bits no rubber no rubber that's why it's not working that's okay what's wrong with you cannot reach destination Why not? Very confused. Was, was putting this pipe in the outside just too much for you? Guess so. I guess so. I guess they could have delivered that but they're delivering to this one I, I suppose they're driving in here and delivering to this one but can't deliver to that one because one two three yeah it's four tiles away okay well there you go that's going to fix that problem because now you're going to have coal from there this is full of water everything is good this is not full of water but that's okay
that's not a problem. Alright, the truck can do that thing again, that's good. No more trucks are stuck anywhere, that's good. Alright, can we, can we get some rubber? Don't have a sprinkler so you can dump excess water on the ground. Yeah, I mean, just open the end of the pipe up. Let it pour in. Some part needs to be in the ocean. Well, we know that's not true. We know that's not true. Why can't I like, create an artificial pond? Huh? Huh? Now, game, why can't I fill in this hole with water? allowed. How are we doing for rubber? We don't have any rubber. Why don't we have any rubber? Because you're making 18 every 60 seconds and we're using 3, 6, 9, 12, 18. Okay, so we're using all the rubber. We're not actually, um, I, I, I did not I, I did not know that we had that exactly correct on ratios I didn't know didn't know however that is fine um because none of these require rubber do they no you also don't require you do require rubber yeah all trucks require rubber so we could probably doing um yeah I will, oh yeah I was thinking of that but we had we had a rubber on here we can always we can always make another rubber plant. We have plenty, plenty of... No, we don't have plenty of sulfur. This should have been a really, really low priority. But that's okay. That's okay, because we have sulfur in our boat. Yeah. Cool. Does that mean this is actually running now? Or are we... What are we full of now? We're full of... You're doing that thing again, aren't you? Yeah, you're doing that weird thing again where it's stopping the sulfur coming in when I'm set to keep empty. I don't know if it's supposed to do that. It's supposed to stop belts. So I thought that just that just caused trucks coming in there. So we'll do that then. We'll just leave it a little tiny bit clear. Didn't we have that issue somewhere else as well? Wasn't there somewhere else? had that issue um. We'll create all the things needed to have this go. And this is going to create a fertilizer and fertilizer will increase our fields, which is good. Okay, so this is now running, which means we're producing even more diesel. I would very, very, very much like, oh, that this is set to the lowest priorities these ones are set to actually these ones aren't set to anything that's why trucks are coming here for the diesel because this is set to empty and the other ones are not set to empty I think this, rather than being rather 
rather than being connected here to its own planet, it should probably come along and connect to like these here. needed now this is actually running now we have the balance here uh, right so what do we need to make rubber sorry what's what's the rubber thing friend diesel I suppose it's gonna make more sense doing it here than not So, if we have the line come off the diesel and the line come off the sulfur, we can have rubber production here as well. Settlement is full of trash. Oh, that's because this has not been set to empty. Although, as we've learned, we need to tag that up by one because it's uh, not going to work otherwise. We may be getting problems with that sort of thing. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, so, um, you've come to get diesel. That's very nice of you, thank you, right? Uh, yeah, because basically, if we the diesel is high over here, we don't want this. We don't want this being run. Um, I did. I had it right here, and we removed it for the um, the this. So I need to do it like here. I need to do a. a What is it? Yeah, but it's only two buildings. But it's, it's only like one building. It's like, like you just, <laughs> you know, it's, it's not, it's not dramatic. We also do need it for for here. So I'm thinking we put it here actually. I feel like if we was to copy this, right? No, if we was to copy whilst holding Shift, 
And then I flip it because it will let me do that. No, we don't. We flip it. We just leave it like that because I don't want to actually flip it. I want to rotate it. We put it here. Along with this, we've got some rubber now. Do your worst. Oh, boom. And then we just do that. Uh, stop, 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 stop. Uh... Hold on, hold on, because I... No, this is fine, this is fine. No, no, and there. I'm just, I was just thinking that maybe I need rubber, like, somewhere so I can build stuff, but... No, because the Unity can take rubber from anywhere, even out of the inventory of building. So, it's fine. Trucks can take stuff out of it as well. That's fine. There we go. So now this will produce rubber. Um, okay. So, let us do the things here. So what do you need? You need... Iron mechanical parts and electronics. Iron. Keep all. Mechanical parts. Electric electronics. You. Uh, uh, don't need to have that vehicle part. But you. Uh, you can get the same turned off. Uh, you want glass. You want this. And we want to turn off exports on all of them. We only want trucks delivering to them. We don't want trucks taking away. Okay. And what? Oh, there's nothing left to pipe. Oh no. That's gonna cause a problem here. Um, no, should be okay. Right. Uh, does the last one do anything but the belt input? What? What do you mean? This this one here, or this one here? Because this this is getting it from these vehicle factories here. Where are you going? Why would you do that? <laughs> That's a really weird thing to do. Um, you do not want truck usage at all. No, yeah, yeah, this one here is uh, obviously when they make make the vehicles, the vehicle parts, you will go into here, and then once the vehicle parts are made, it will come back out again and spread out. The only reason I'm storing them is that I'm not sure if we need them in the future. I think we do. Maybe. But it's probably better to do it this way, because, I mean, yeah, we've got this here, um, but it means that we just need to basically copy this for whatever the next tier of vehicle parts are because there is there is another tier of vehicles there are huge excavators and proper proper dump trucks but dump trucks are only designed for uh, actual ores so we've got glass that's good we haven't got any steel being delivered that's not good 
still am a little concerned about still is full because still requires water and water is a is a bit of a bit of a premium right now I think we might run a pipeline uh, we might run the pipeline a bit further along wait why does that drop down to level one Um, the problem here is that this, this this just is not is not doing it. Although this is now full. Um, is okay actually i don't think that it's running i think this throws in a warning because the the water underground is scooped up okay we still need our trucks to deliver things here Uh, we could put a catch, sorry, that, that would make sense. We were going to build this bigger. But what I should do is uh, delete that, because I don't know why that's... This, this is what I was trying to figure out why it was level one. No. be gone and we saw some water there as well Very true. That'll get it going here. Uh, we will build a, a better plant at some point. We will build more. So we need we need to do like a major pipeline. We we need to pick an area, start getting like all the water and bits and pieces, and then just doing a major pipeline, kind of like I did with the oil, just not bury it because oh, I don't want to do that ever again. I don't want to do it. I did see someone, however, um, put pipes on, on the floor, like put four pipes along, and then just fill it with sand over the top so the truck could drive over the top of it, which I thought was a very nice thing, a very, very simple and easy way to do things. Um, whenever you want to run pipes off of it, you can just leave a hole and uh, connect to a balancer or something. But really, putting them three high is just easy to do. Or run them on the ground and just put um, bridges over them at some point. 
Yeah, a land bridge. Yeah. Yeah, just quite literally put put four four pipes all right next to each other, and then just told uh, you can only dump sand on top of them because sand's really easy to dig up as well. Doesn't take any any effort. Um, so it just had sand, and that's like, there you go, my pipeline is under that sand, I know it's there. What's wrong with you? Missing input, what's wrong with you? You are full of sound. You are full of water output. Yeah, you don't even have to bury. Yeah, you don't bury. You just you just put sand down over the top, and then truck can just drive over them. It's exactly the same as building a bridge over them. So I don't quite know why you wouldn't just build a bridge. Um, although it is less space, the bridge takes up more space then having a, a bit of a, a thing there uh the alternative one to that as well is you do it the other round you run the pipes like on the ground and then when you want to cross you just dig a hole and bury them uh which is fine or you just put them up in the air and every now and then bring them down to put a, a bridge and then um that's true land bridges can be any width that's very true yeah but you could just put them all up in the air because trucks can drive underneath them and then every say uh, um, every um, I don't know every ten tiles, you just bring the pipeline down the floor, put a bridge in, take it up again. Yeah, and then and then you can do um, and then diggers, yeah, diggers can do it because so. you don't have to worry about pipes following gravity in this; they're all powered. Yeah. Yeah, I think diggers can also uh, go over land bridges. If, if you bury the pipe, diggers can drive over the top of it. They're fine with it. It seems to ignore weight limits completely. Uh, so. Yeah, you could you could just lower the pipe down, do it, and then raise the pipe up again. And then, because to be honest with you, your excavators really go to a site and stay on site until they run out of resources and that's going to be a long time it's going to be a long time especially for our, our copper our copper is going to be ages and we've got another iron over here so we've got fun there's coal there as well there's coal here as well oh is that one giant coal that is one giant coal reserve yeah, we're going to be good good for resources resources are not going to be a problem for a while uh, the only thing that runs is tricky yeah 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 basically and he's going to be um, made redundant sooner or later. I don't even know where he is. Where is the tree guy? He should be up here, shouldn't he? He's over there. There he is. There he is. Dragging along, doing his best. Okay, so do we have any? We don't have any excavators, do we? No, we could definitely do with upgrading to excavators as well. How goes this? This goes. This, this doesn't go. This doesn't go because we're not getting any. I don't think we're making mechanical parts anywhere for the network. I think the only place I'm making mechanical parts is here. Oh, what? 
fine mess we've gotten ourselves into. Uh, I mean, I could always just turn on track export on these. I could force track export on. Because these usually fill up. So that should be okay. But we do, we want to redo this as well. I don't know where I want to redo it. Yeah, this is one of those, oh, do I wish I'd have remembered that was a thing, but it's not. Uh, how many do you require? You require 1.5. Um, but where it is, but close to the park line. I mean, yeah, the maintenance stuff I would probably put here and then start backwards. So we'd have the stuff there going backwards. So that's the thing. I'm just wondering whether there's any possible way. We can be really cheeky and do this. Because it, it, it produces six, and we need one, three, yeah, we need more than six. But I think just, just for the moment, just to actually get this working. Um, we could do things. Put one of there and then plug it into the end or it could it could it could go in. It very much could go in there. Actually, and then we'll just like take this belt. But no, the thing is, I'm not, I'm not storing it. That's the problem. We're not. We're not. We could. Why did the belts not copy completely? No, that's fine. That's fine. That makes perfect sense. Could have course gone and made one out of steel. But hey ho. Also, is there a B? No, he's research granny. Can you? There's no upgrade button for belts. 
Unless there's something in the tutorials I missed. No, what I mean is there's no, um, there's no, I mean, there's a button here to upgrade the belt, but there's not one to upgrade, like, I can't, there isn't, like, like there's a unity tool here where you can just drag over and do it, but there isn't a upgrade all the belt. Tell me. Uh, there's, there's delete, and then you can hold shift to delete the entire segment, but there's no upgrade button for the whole, the whole thing. That's what I was looking for, I was looking for an upgrade. Yeah, I just want. That's why I was like, can I can I drag Mot two belts over the top of Mot ones, and it will just upgrade them? But no, it doesn't do that either. Yeah, got to do it the manual way, which is which is okay. It's not terrible. I just want to upgrade this main belt running through because it's not supplying enough goods. Okay, now I should be able to use my Unity to uh, boost all of that. These are going to be using 15 ago, and the Mark 1 belt only did 60, so it would be, yeah, it would only supply 4, it would never supply the 5th one. Oh, you have to do it the Manuel, Manuel way. Well, if you want to do it that way, you can do it that way. I'll do it the Manual way instead. Seems like a much better better way of doing things. Okay. These are running and doing their thing. There are our first box of vehicle parts on the belts. Trays of vehicle parts. These will be trays. What I should do now is well, I should turn it all back to being auto. Because uh. yeah. these really should be Mark 3s anyway to keep up with that. strain our vehicles which is not fantastic we're trying to we're trying to not put strain our vehicles but at the same time it's kind of okay so this has no inventory which is weird for a building that accepts input it has no inventory you know it doesn't even have a, a like a little I suppose when you click a truck, it just does that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. So the inventory is here when you click the truck. It starts getting it. Um, it. It's just weird that you can input and it doesn't. It doesn't. It just. It's just. It, it's weird to me. I don't know. How long does it take to build one of these trucks? It does not say. The vehicle depot doesn't really have any um, information of <laughs> telling me what's going on with it. Just says it takes 23 rubber, 30 vehicle parts and 15 diesel. Um, which we're not feeding to it, but we could because we have diesel stored here. But we could... Nope, that's a nope. <laughs> Uh, 
definitely don't want to run it that way. That'll work. That'll work. And it still needs space for that. We just lose one connection on the end. Oh, that is the weirdest pipe I've seen for a long time, but it's going to work. It does the job. It means we don't have to wait then for diesel. Not that we are struggling for diesel to come. We're actually struggling for vehicle parts or for anything. But we're now getting steel coming in, which means the, the fans are spinning, the machines are whirring. Here, the machines were moving closer. Can't really hear them. But here they come. Here come the vehicle part. No export, no export. Uh, you want export on. I don't want to import. Uh, actually, no, you can have import on as well. Turn import on. Um, and I would like to keep you practically full. Both of you practically full. Just in case we have any spare parts in here at any point, they've got someone to dump them. Speaking of spare parts, what, what is in here? So, impure copper and gravel. Ah, impure copper is. You're never really going to get used. We'd have to deliver it to there, which we can get to. There is gap to get to it. It's actually spaced out nicely to get gaps to it. But yeah, it gives me the, how much it costs. doesn't actually tell me that. and it starts working on the truck before it gets the parts which is interesting hmm. okay well it's going now it's going we will be making loads of trucks trucks will be added to our system we have we have the spare things to upgrade trucks and then as we do it, we will decommission these. I don't know what you get. For it, I don't, I don't know what you get for scrapping vehicles. Does it tell you in here? It does not tell you anything. About 30% of what it took to make it. Okay. That's not so bad, actually. You should get something back for it. Better than Timberborn. You should get something back for it. Yeah, there we go. So that's going to run and do its thing. Is 
Este, ¿Qué pasa? No quiero usar el lefties. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Pause, pause. Oh no. Me, Nicole. I thought it was carrying diesel in, in an open back truck. I'm like, what are you doing? So it does, yeah. I mean, the vehicles just drive in there and then nothing seems to come out of it. I wonder if it fills up with stuff or whether you just magically get it. We'll go to a trap dock, but you shouldn't. You're waiting for a box. If we cancel this. Oh, there you go. It's got stored products. Okay, you no longer want that. So you can remove that. That'll give us 77 construction parts back. We made a truck. We made a truck. I want to find out how quickly it takes that. Uh, this didn't make the truck. It was the other one that made the truck. The well, original one must have finished it. Uh, but I, I'd like to know how quickly it takes or how long it takes to build a truck so you could figure out how many vehicle parts I need to actually make. Because it looks really slow. I can't hear my clock ticking. Can I hear my clock ticking? I wonder if the battery's died me. Um, that's not a second of percent. It's not, not a second, it's, it's more. not quite a hundred seconds it's like I reckon 120 that would make sense because everything's done on 60 seconds so it probably takes what two two minutes to make a truck are we making 30 parts in two minutes no we're not Well, we're making 18 in two. So how the devil did we manage to actually fill up on parts and have parts here? Okay, that must be more than that then. seems to take about two minutes to make one truck it's, it's got to be slightly longer than that though because we're only making 18 a minute which would be no that would be right because that would be 36 in two minutes so we would be making an abundance yes duh idiot yeah so that would work yeah so this so this is producing enough to constantly be making new trucks for us which is good because i would like new trucks however i don't know what the maintenance cost of trucks are 1.2 for pickups any trucks about they're twice as much that's fine that's fine okay i don't know what our actual demand for maintenance is still a bargain well they are they're they're double the capacity aren't they they carry 60 and these carry 20. No, they carry no, they're three times the capacity. Okay, so that's good. So for twice a maintenance, you get three times that. 
Uh, so yeah, so 428 maximum. That says, I know that's quite small. Uh, 428 a second. This, <laughs> this makes 480 a minute, sorry. 428 maximum a second, a minute. And this makes 480 a minute. So one of these is enough to keep up with all our maintenance demand. Right now. Yeah. Global maintenance status. Okay. Okay. So this is this is fine. This is absolutely fine. This is all good. This is all good. And we have our recycler doing the recycling things. Hmm? What? Four, four seven two, not four two eight. What? That number down there says four two eight max. Nope, four, 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 two, eight. In brackets is four, two, eight, max over 60. You see four, seven, two. I see four, two, eight. <laughs> I definitely see four, two, eight. But one of these produces 480 anyway. So even if it was four, seven, two, it would still be under the 480. So one maintenance shed is enough to run our entire industry at the moment. Which is awesome. You see it at four point five. Yeah, you need you need to uh, you need to to, to, to use the. Ma D does Windows still have the magnifying glass? If Windows does, Windows still has the magnifying glass. So you can use that if you need to. It's fine. Uh, right, you were making vehicle parts here. You're you're no. We can we can get rid of you now. You're done. You're happy. Thank you very much for your progress. You are done now. We're good. Uh, so, right, what about demand? What about demand of things? How are we doing? Um, six. We need nine glass every minute, and we need nine steel every minute. This is producing 12 steel a minute, so one of them is doing enough for us. Um, uh, and this is producing 24 glass. So we're good. We're very good. We're very, very good on that. We're fine. We won't be struggling for anything anytime soon. What are you doing? Why are you taking that water? Checking it there. Yes, you are. Okay. Okay, we'll let you off. We'll let you off. Okay, so what's next then? Um, what's next? We've got a cargo ship Mark 2s. Um, these are all going to empty down here, but this is not particularly being used by them much because we're not actually digging out any barren terrain anymore. Doing a pretty good job. I'm going to let our trucks peak at 110 and then we'll go and delete 10 pickups. Then we'll get up there, then we'll delete another 10 pickups and we'll do it that way. I think that's going to be a bit, the better way of doing it. Um, and then when we run out of pickups, we can upgrade all our excavators as well. So yeah, yeah, just a matter of getting the extra trucks, which is absolutely fine. Can I boost this with no? Can I boost this with no? You can't, you can't make it faster. I am disappointed. And although I'm pretty sure I could build a second one of these, I don't think we can supply a second one. Keep 
keep 10 pickups I get the feeling you might need them later I don't know why I don't see anything that this can that a pickup can do that a truck can't do I mean if a pickup could get under <coughs> true if a pickup could get under a two and a truck could quite get under a three high then that would make sense but Plus we can always build them again. Pickups can work with miners. So can Yeah. Or or do you mean the actual big miner machine thing? Because you you need uh there is no miner machine thing. Uh there is another tier of vehicles which is um uh you get the huge the mining machine excavator and then you require the dump trucks for that. But they can only move raw resources. Pickups come up with miners. I mean, yeah, we could need the pickups with the miners as well. I just feel like switching at least all of our delivery trucks over to being trucks is a definite thing. Um, and doing some things like making this more more efficient, like putting the drop offs down here and then running belts up, would be more efficient for us as well. But fine. Are we missing iron in the floor here? No, we're not. It looks like there's iron in the floor there. There is not. Yeah, I think I should have double the amount of pickups as I do from excavators. So to Five, six, seven. I should have fourteen trucks. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. So each excavator has two trucks assigned. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Around and make sure it's right. We've only got three places for this, so uh, wait, what? What the hell? But we may need to upgrade that when we get to the actual bigger uh, escalators. Um, uh, bike capacity is six, bike capacity is 20. And this is 20. So one scoop will fill a pickup up. Um, so I think when we upgrade to excavators, we could either switch the trucks then or maybe assign four trucks. So we just go scoop, dump, you go off, scoop, dump, you go off. Four to one, and we could use less excavators as well, which would be useful. Yeah, an excavator is worth three of a small excavator. So, so maybe a three to one. I'll do that. And um, I know iron's being used a lot more, but iron's doing good at the moment. Uh, I just don't understand why. I... Or an eight or an eight or an eight and over here we've got one and two and one and two which is fine because we're not using that much sand or anything at the moment, are we? That's 
Squid. That's why they had a double thing going on there. Then. Yeah, if a pickup is sitting and waiting to be unloaded, it doesn't need a bigger truck. That does make sense. Yeah. Why are you going to the limestone? You don't need access to the limestone. Bin. And you don't need access to the sand. But we should have rock and dirt here. Oh, didn't we split this? Wasn't that what it was? We, we split this. You should be rock. You should rock. You should be dirt. And you should be dirt. Empty. And then you should uh, oh, also get access to the rock and dirt. And you should also get access to the rock and the dirt. Yeah, yeah, we split this though. But then I, I didn't put any, I only put limestone because, mind you, this, it wasn't desperately needed, was it? Never, it's not very heavy demand up here, so. means we have we have got two excavators doing nothing right now yeah it wasn't it wasn't in huge demand which is why we kind of gave up on this thing down here uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the excavators doing this thing here uh, let's get ourselves another mind control tower Control your mind. Uh. Oh. Edit your area. You basically want to do. I don't know how big of an area you can actually have. Just that. Not exactly what I wanted. Would much rather. We might, we're going to have to do two. We have to do two control towers. That looks a bit. One over here. And one over there. Which is convenient that we have two. Uh... Give me the grid thing. Uh, we have two excavators here. You. Do as big area as you possibly can there. Then you do as big an area as you can over there. See, thank you very much. Boom. Diggy, diggy, diggy. Uh, diggy, diggy, flat. Oop. He's also going to dig into the limestone, which I don't really want to do. Don't really want to do that, if I'm honest with you. So let's not dig into the limestone.
Very interesting. Is there don't forget your water intake and pumps there. Yeah, but they are on the lo the lowest level, so they should not be affected by a digger coming to dig them up. They might do, and it might all fall apart, but we will find out. We will find out in the near future. Um, dump wise, you're gonna have to go all the way over there and dump stuff, but that's fine. So I'm gonna add you and add two, and add you and add two, and then you can come and do things for the rest of your life over here. Thank you very much. Off you go, digger digger diggers. We'll see what happens. Yeah, make all the truck. Okay. So, I really wish there was a way you could turn the grid on and off. It's just the display grid on the floor. Without all this other stuff. I know you can't tick these things here, but I, just, I want to turn the terrain grid on and off. Um, I know you can do it when you're building, but we should turn it on and off. At will. Or at will. Do um, we have the two gap? I'm wondering if I can, we can automate but this this whole farming thing is so badly done I'm not sure we can get built in to automate stuff anymore I very clearly underestimated the the farming Didn't realize just how much space you require for farming. So, but anyway, we're good. I think we're good. Everything seems to be good for for thing of bots for speed and stuff. Um, you are building a platform out here, but it's being really slow. Yeah, I, I need I need to sort of tear it down and rebuild it because you need access to the front and back of it. You need at the front you 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 can run belts and things like that of course he helps speed up stuff, speed up time. But uh, also, um, I don't know if they can or not, but farms can be flipped. So I could have done one farm this way and then flipped it and done another farm that way putting the farm the farm entrances together and the exits together so yeah yeah i need i need to and and this space here is not ideal for this and it's not it, everything is just bad uh, some ground is not farmable that's why you put a layer of dirt on top okay We do have a lovely area up here which we can once we get rid of the trees do things with anything underground here there's water that's about it not fussed about the water yeah it's okay the, the, the problem we have with things at the moment is that we are digging out the ores and no longer just getting random rocks. So... It's difficult to uh, to fill in anywhere because we're not getting the rocks. I could dig down deeper in here. We could happily dig down in here. Plus, I could actually like just make this a square and dig it out. I don't know what will happen here kind of want to maybe dig this out further I 
maybe And see what you need with what has been dug already. Yeah, 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 both, yeah. Um. about putting some walls in along here and then digging a bit further along but with easy one tile or you can go over that what I mean we've got to go up over here and mine out more over here but easy one tile more you can go over here well, the farm is here. The farm is right here. Uh, and this is already starting to, to, to dig out. So if I put the uh, iron pit up against this edge here, I feel like this would not, it wouldn't destroy the farm, but the trucks would not be able to drive back and forward here. There would not be enough for it. So we'd have to put in a wall, at the very least a wall along here. we dug up to so here is where we did so this this is on the line here and it basically at that depth basically it's an entire tile worth of slope the best way to uh do that so if i dug out to here to this edge here for instance then the slope would destroy the this here but we could put a wall in here to support it. And then the truck would still be able to drive along this way. So, um, yeah, if we put a retaining wall. Yeah, we've got one one closer there and it's just taps into the edge here like there's two or three tiles in but when we get to this point here this when we mine out this is going to cause basically this whole tile to slump it because it appears to be basically a whole tile that there is a whole tile and that's caused this to slump in up to here it leaves like two two blocks spare the truck needs three minimum. So let's let's build a retaining wall here. So, uh, what do we want? We want uh, one, two, three, four, five. What's that? 
be enough. Hold back. Yeah, I think that would. Oh, I think if we went five, it'd be okay. I'll want to buy a click and drag. I go forward enough. What do we do there? What do we do there? Yes, yeah, copy paste. That would help with that would. Yep. Yep, that will work wonders. Uh, we we'll have to do something odd here. I don't know what we're gonna do here. We've got to come down this way. We're going to be one, two, three, four tiles out. Uh, so we'll have to get rid of that one. Do a retaining wall corner. That. I don't know where we're going to go with it here. That again does weird things. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, we could always do it down here. And I like with the copy paste, like with Factorio, if you can't paste on the end, it just doesn't. So if I say do that, there, it just puts in the stuff that it can do. I like that. I really like that. I hate when games, Factory Town is the one that gets with that. It's like, I want to copy this here. No, you copied that one path. And because that one path cannot sit on top of another path, you cannot paste the whole thing down. Like, just ignore the damn thing. Please, just ignore. Oh, uh... Actually want to remove that one there. I'll do a corner wall going up this way as well. Because uh, I would also like to change the entrance to the mine. I'd like to build a slope, a one tile wide slope here in the centre. Down. Uh, because I've seen lots of people build rocket stuff and butter inside old quarries and stuff like that. And I like the idea of doing that. I like the idea of using the hole once we've used, once we've done it. But this entrance is not fantastic, so I'd much rather build an entrance coming down. Uh, so I do not... Yes, I do want you to dump rock. What we're going to do is we're going to say, would you not dig anything down there for a moment? Because if we do want to dig more things, we still want to dig right over here. Um, so, once that wall's built there. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to fill in Um, yeah, rock and dirt doesn't matter. You can do you can do whatever. Um, in fact, I don't. Doesn't matter. Rock and dirt is fine. Doesn't matter. The entrance is going to be right here. We may even move the control tower inside here temporarily whilst we're digging things. So, so what I want to do is I want to have a fill.
from here all the way down to there. Why not split the two big squares? What do you mean by split the two big squares? Um, I don't want you to actually fill that top one. I want it to be. Uh, we have we have a truck train coming along here, so. Go right by two dig lines. Remove the two. Um, uh, uh, um, now, now let me let me cancel that. Let me cancel. That. I'll pause the game anyway, but let me cancel that because I was digging. I was doing the wall. That was going to be the edge. The wall was going to be the edge, and then we fill in by the wall. That was my plan. So we've got this. Um, turn off that layer thing. We've got this lovely like, little bit through here. Um, the main road was actually going to be here between the two, not here. <laughs> and two dig lines near the tower. Well, it wants to be a fill line, doesn't it? We want to fill it in. We don't want to dig it out. means I did want this to come down here and go along. What I'm concerned about is that this is too narrow for trucks to stop and turn around and move around in. Move it over then you don't move it. Well I, I, I want to move the control tower anyway inside there because the control tower is kind of in the way and we want to move all the stuff in here so they've got less distance to travel. And that's That wants to be moved at some point in the future. Um, yeah, if we read you, I mean, this this lines up with the edge of the town as well, so it makes sense. It's just that I built this iron mine thing too close to it. We could put the iron mines in the actual iron mine pit, which, uh, <laughs> which wouldn't be a terrible thing, but. Um, That, that's that's what that's actually I did want that because that's what I was doing here. That's why I did it that way because I wanted a a wall there, and then we run a retaining wall up there, which I don't want to build because otherwise it's going to do all sorts of breaky break things. Um, yeah, we run a retaining wall up there. Get rid of that out to a retaining wall and that's going to be where the road would be and then the entrance the the tunnel would be in the center going down but it will start behind this so it would start there and come down It wouldn't stop back there so it wouldn't affect the control tower yeah that's where the slope begins we might even have to court to uh turn turn around and put some wall bearings in there so that it doesn't that although it shouldn't be too bad but well, it won't actually because we're filling we're not we're not building we're not digging we're filling i don't know why i'm putting a wall in there but Or make it two or three tiles wide i mean we could do there's no there's nothing it could be as wide as, 
as wide as you want it to be, really. It could be the whole slope going in. Um, it could be the whole... Like, the whole thing could be one giant slope moving into it. So, you know, it's not it's not difficult to do. It's just, uh, I don't want to do that yet. Um, because this is the only entrance in and out. And as we're digging things, I don't want it to cause all sorts of problems with it. Um, so I think we might just do like one in the center and only say rock, no dirt. I only do rock. So that it's a solid piece. So the walls don't collapse and slide down as much as they did before. And what I want to do here then is I want to say, hey, would you actually mine out like up to this edge here um, for stuff and things? Yeah, would you mine out all of that? Except maybe that one. Yeah, ground slumps, I know. Um, uh, but the uh, rock doesn't as much as anything else. Rock doesn't slump as much. But that's why I just want to dump rock in here. And dirt can be disposed of elsewhere. So we'll dump the rock in here. We'll have the trucks filling the rock. Um, so, yeah. Um, the actual the rock itself isn't isn't too bad the rock only looks like it's kind of one one tile even even right back here if you look at this here this is what mind you this a lot of this is dirt as well it's been mixed in with it dirt and rock mixed in with it but it's it's definitely it's definitely look, look at this here look at this one here this is barely one tile wide yeah barely one tile wide and goes up from minus three to minus eleven So rock is pretty good. It's when you mix it with dirt, it becomes a problem. It mixes it all up and becomes a problem. So this should be okay. This this should be all right. And if it doesn't, then we can always start doing things. But that's why I've left the gap around the edge of it. So we're not going to dig out anything that's in there anyway. Um, I haven't only dumped rock in an area ever. I've, I've never dumped rock. I don't know how that works. This this is a mixture of dirt and rock. So it's not as strong. We'll find out. We'll find out. We'll, we'll, we'll let it go. We'll find out how it works, what it does. I can't water them. Well, all, all of these are... Well, this... No, none of these are... Um, they're all mixed. They're mixed waste, rock, dirt, gravel, slag, whatever. They're all they're all the same. And they still do have quite sharp sharp cliffs on them. You know, I've never just, just dumped stone anyway. Never just dumped rock. We'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. We can but test. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use all of my unity to build this wall to save our trucks having to do it because they are Yeah. Well, as much of it as I can. Unfortunately I've run out of uh, cement. Can we also research, shall, shall we look at researching, uh, oh yeah, settlement decorations as well. I haven't built my settlement in a very smart way, but that's because I didn't know. Uh, one, 
if we can go back to storage large can we do that large research let's do that ship free oh yeah and then there's this here the thermal um desalination which is way better than using coal it uses electricity to do it which is not great but What do we need for nuclear power? Nuclear power requires uranium enrichment. Uranium enrichment requires power generator mark four. Power generator mark four requires. We are actually a lot closer to um uh <laughs> to nuclear power than than, than I thought. Because we can do the research lab right now, and then all we need to do is power generation four and uranium and nuclear. Um I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. We also do cooling towers. Didn't we? Do we? No, we didn't do calling to Sport recovery. We should do that as well. Uh, fuel station. Fuel station. Where was that? Sorry, I'm jumping around a little bit. Fuel station two. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's add that to the queue. Uh, and the tree harvester two. We might as well get the big tree harvester. Not that we're probably going to use much of it. Let's get water with that and copper. We can't do that because we need soybeans. And soybeans require us to go out in the world and look around. Let's go out in the world and look around. I think we sunk all the pirates we can see. Yep. Uh, oh, I want to... I want to do that. I want to get the tree place up and running before we have issues with trees. Um, You have the construction parts. Yes, do it. Yeah, water recovery is in the door. Uh, plus, I'm, I'm, there's also another thing here. We're constantly losing vegetables and potatoes and things, and I could be doing stuff with that. So... if we just build some more farms in places stop here and just get our truck delivering back and forwards and then we can destroy all this and maybe rebuild it because we might have to do something else here kind of want to be able to put even more farms in as well yeah i really want to put more farms in here as well The thing is, I want to redesign this because I want to make sure it's got space for putting in belts and things around it. Uh, so moving them just one or two at a time isn't really going to work. I need to clear the space out, clear up all these, all the pipes and things and relay it out in a better way. Because we've got obviously the bakery and other bits and pieces. Um, so we could build loads up here and then do it. What, what, I'm, what I'm looking at here is maybe digging this out just one layer down and filling it with dirt we've got plenty of dirt here we could dig out this 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 should be at least three layers dig of dirt so that we can build farms on top of it And it would give us more space to do things as well. I would like to dig around here and blah, blah, blah. this obviously is running this here and we'll get thermal desalination as well, which helps in the future for stuff. Um so I want to do the I want to do the diggy dig thing first. Which means I would really like to be able to cancel these. I don't want to cancel that one because that one's the one that's building. I'm going to wait for this one to finish before I cancel any vehicles. So I don't know whether it cancels the one you're building or the next one in the queue.
Oh, it's got space for forge tools, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, there's plenty of, um, your ship is blocked. Ship access is blocked. Oh, whatever. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. <laughs> That's going to get moved later anyway. Okay. If I cancel you, it does. Yeah. So there's no way. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. If I fill that up, and then let's say I add this to it, we have three of those to it, and then cancel. The vehicle queue is way bigger than it shows on here. Right, so we'll go one, two, three, four, five. 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 And one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll cancel them off as we go. Yep. Yep. You can. Okay. Okay. You can queue up a lot of that. I was clicking them going like, why isn't it cancelling? I do remember pressing that button a lot. Okay. You, you can pre-order as many vehicles as you like by looks of it. You can just keep clicking the button and feel that in the like, low. That's interesting. That's interesting. Not very useful, not very practical, but it could be. You could just be like, hey, I'm, I'm just going to queue up a hundred trucks and just let it go. Then it was one at a time, yeah, that's true. Um, but yeah, uh, right. So uh, you're dumping everything out there. That's absolutely fine. What I want to do, I want to build another wind control tower. And we need to dig out a little bit more here than we can't do, but we'll just dig out the outside bit first. This bit that we relayed. Because we have to dig out bits here as well, because it all needs to be dirt in order for farms to work, and I want to make it all farm. So. Um, a digger can't get in there. You are absolutely right. You are absolutely 100% correct. Uh, Yeah, I suppose we could fill in along this retaining wall. The annoying thing is, is that... We need to get rid of this rock and put dirt in. But you can't just tell a digger to only dig rock. So if I like dug this whole area out and said, hey digger, only pick the rock up and he didn't know the dirt. You can't do that, which means that it's just, it's one of those ones where you're gonna have to dig holes around this and do things. It's gonna be awkward, but it's fine, it's fine. So, um, I mean, dumping wise, we could just dump anything in here. It doesn't matter what we dump in here, just have to dump it lower. It's just this one I wanted to dig out. That's why I was putting the tower. Control tower. Um, this obviously wants to be filled as well. I need to dig more. I need to dig more than I'm filling. Hmm. Yeah, I want to. I want to dig, but I want to retain the dirt that I'm digging. I want to dig out. I want to dig this hole. Just I want to just dig a hole. I want to dig a big hole somewhere. Dig a giant hole. Dig a tunnel. Dig, dig a tunnel.
this is filling in quite nicely um, although it does look as if you're filling in dirt no that's probably just dirt mixed with it early on you can only dump rock in here but that's okay part yeah pole yeah because don't they prioritize control towers anyway so um, we're going to do one bit, uh, yeah ah the uh, face yeah your trucks are driving all the way over to the edge of the world aren't they uh don't know where to put um all the stuff mr orange hello thank you very much for the follow i'm being very indecisive um we got that we can take the top soil off here we can take the top soil off here if you want to can we make dirt I really like to make the dump compost. Um, uh, how's it going? It's going very well, I think. Perhaps. Maybe. I'm not really sure. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this this, uh, this this here. We're going to change this here. Uh, so that our, our diggers can get in here. Because we need to... Um, <laughs> yeah let's put let's, let's put the waste over here this'd be a great idea let's put the waste over there um who, who did that who thought that would be a great idea to put the waste disposal right there i don't know i don't know yeah i'm trying to get some space to put farmland in but of course where i filled everything i've just filled it with whatever it's got waste in it it's got rock it's got slag it's got everything and farmland won't build on that so I need to take the top layer off and at least fill the top layer with dirt and hope that works. Boop. You connect to there. Really? Really? You go over the top? It does use check the first thing. Okay, let's use what I do. Yeah, one or two layers. Okay, so just just the single layer, hopefully, will do the job then. Um, I need to leave at least a little gap around this for the time being, so this can carry on working and pumping and doing its thing, which is fine. Ship access is blocked. That I don't care about. We'll we'll. That's for trading. We're not fussed about trading for the minute. We're trying to build some things for larger docks over here. Fine. Um, so what I want to do then is I want to take this. The dump. And I want to come here and I want to go down one. And we basically want to dump in this whole area here no, nope why is that saying zero like this that little gap there i don't know what happens if you block the ocean off from something does it just stay as water or does it drain out i have absolutely no idea we will find out we will find out shortly 
stays until you fill it. Okay, so yeah, it's not there. I did notice you can't, you, you, you have to build a liquid dump into the ocean, which is a little annoying because, you know, I wanted to create a giant artificial pond in here. I thought that would be quite fun. But apparently you're not allowed to. You know. Yeah, you're not only doing the ocean, but I want to. I want to fill in. I've made. This, I've dug this giant hole. Just dump all the waste in the giant hole. What could go wrong with it? Um, dig canals. Yeah, I don't know how that works. I don't know if the ocean fills in if you dig canals through. But then your excavators, much they do work underwater, don't they? We did test that. It did, did work underwater. Waste, yeah, but not not liquid waste, yeah. But I wanted to make a I wanted to make a, a sewage pond. Great for the environment. Can you bridge over water if it's narrow enough? These are all many things that I would like to test. Actually, um, could you put like a large bridge in if you were dug a can canal underneath it? I suppose the way you could do it is you dig the canal like here, and then you just break the end of it, because um, then your your truck and then you do. I don't. I don't know whether that would. Do you know what? Do you know what? Pause. Pause. Uh, dump. How big's the bridge? Does it need? Right, the centerpiece on the large bridge is one tile, one, yeah, one tile one. So, we can test this. We can test this. If we don't fill in two, like that, and then we'll fill in around this way. It's going to take a long time. It's going to take a long time to test this, but we'll fill in around this way, and then we'll see if we can bridge over that. I don't know if that's going to work or not. We'll try. We'll find it. Right. Yeah. Now, now all the trucks are there. Yeah, that would be quite cool because then, because then, shit, that that would make me want to be like, hey, do you know what? I want to dig the channels. You know, dig dig an artificial, artificial way. Um, I think maybe one. Yeah, maybe two might be too much, but I'd I'd rather go with two and find out it's not right, and then fill one in, then go with one and. Uh, because I think if you go with one, unless you're using just pure rock to fill it, it's going to do this this thing here. Um, it would make that one cool. Has anyone played on the crater map that you know of and broke the edge? Because isn't that all under sea level? Does that fill with water? I really want to just load it up and break the edge and see what happens. <laughs> seems like a the crater map is a map I definitely want to play. Uh, the pre-order map seems, seems like something that would be really good fun um we've heard it but never played it okay haven't seen it played yet okay well that's the next thing then we'll play the crater map next that's the next thing we'll do uh, if i dig here it's going to break the pipe probably in there but whatever um Most of them, I did see the crescent map seems to be very popular. I think it's got lots of land on it, hasn't it? Uh, got lots of um, lots of open land. This is just the first map, and I'm playing on the the, the, the easiest difficulty, so and still struggling. <laughs> Could be quite fun to try the uh, the crescent map because that's a medium one. And then there's some at the end that's really difficult, but Kirkland will see map is a good one. Okay. I am surprised there isn't a random map generator on this. Uh -uh. I, I could see it working with a random map generator. I really could. 
But all, all random maps would all be kind of like this. They would be a blob. So you wouldn't get some funky shapes and special things for it. They would all generally, generically be a blob just with resources placed in random places. Yeah. That would be quite cool. But that, that'd be fine then, because you could create your own blob island. Okay, there you go. There is my blob island. That is fine. Uh, also, it was... Uh, um in uh uh, uh what's his name stream Kazanir. um Kazanir is it perhaps Kazanir? whatever uh it was in his stream earlier on and uh talking about multiplayer where everybody gets their own island and you trade excess goods you don't want so you might have your island might be an abundance of oil and then you have to trade it off with somebody who has oil or has a uh, coal for instance That'd be a cool concept. I don't think that would really work, but it would be interesting. <laughs> Online global market or something. There's our first excavator. What was we going to name our first excavator? Scoop, wasn't it? Was his name? Bob the Builder. Scoop, Scoop was a digger, wasn't he? he but he wasn't really an excavator. Bob the Builder, was there an excavator? There was a big excavator. Um, the excavator was blue and its name was Stretch. Stretch. Yeah, Scoop was the, uh, the front loading tractor thing, which would be another cool model to have here that just pushes stuff around. Um, so this one should be called Stretch. There we go. Why does that not look right? S T R E T T H does that okay. Scratchy the digger. Scratchy? Benny's the skid loader. Scoop is the JCB tractor. Uh, stretch. Is the big, like, blue green? Depending on how your eyes see things. Did Lofty the crane? Googling Bob the Builder stuff again. Stretch the boom crane? Why is my Google giving me different answers? I type Bob the Builder excavator and all the response all, all the results come up as stretch. Bob the Builder Stretch is a teal excavator who was introduced in season two. No, stretch, stretch is the teal excavator. Lofty, lofty is the crane. <laughs> the boom, the boom crane is lofty. <laughs> I don't know why we can't mad about naming the grip. <laughs> Scratchy was the excavator. Uh, Stretch is based off Gripper and Grabber from the original Bob the Builder. Oh, hold on. Hold on. This is Bob the Builder 2015. Uh, 
I am reading the, the, the remake of Bob the Builder. No. No. You may be correct. You probably are correct. Apparently there was a 2015 remake, which I, did, was, I was not aware of. I was not aware there was a, 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 uh, a remake. Hey, so Damsalot's here. There he is. Um, yeah, I did not know that there was a, a remake of it, so yeah. Okay, so they renamed all the characters in the new one. Uh, okay. Okay. Wow, it went on for nine series. Wow. Okay, can I get characters? Can I get characters, please? Loads of people in it. Um, so it says Look Lofty was no mobile crane. There's no stretch in the original series. Okay. Okay. So who did you say was the... Was the... Sorry, I'm going off on one now for some bizarre reason. Uh, Scratchy was the excavator. Okay, let me... Scratch. Don't see a scratchy on the list of names. Whatever. Voiced by Hal Harbin, the UK and German, if there's a small light blue digger who's the youngest member. Yeah, Scratch, Scratch is a tiny. Yeah. So, hey, we finished the last story. Oh. Um. Stretch was the boom tow truck for moving between heavy trucks. Okay. Gripper and Grabber. Grabber is the only excavator that I can find in the original one. In the original one. His name was, his name was Grabber. Later on, Scratchy was a proper excavator. Okay. Scratchy, so, sorry for anyone watching. We're, not, we're, talking, we're, talking about, we're trying to name we're trying to name our excavator correctly. Um, unfortunately, on the, on the page that I've got, I don't have a Scratchy at all. Show up. There is Scratch, but there isn't Scratchy. 
The only one I've got is Gripper and Grabber. Gripper is a mobile. Gripper is a mobile crane with a winch on his front, and Grabber is an excavator with a bulldozer blade. So is that is that scratch? Scratch is the little. Is this why it's not coming? Scratch is like the mini excavator. He's like a skid loader. Looks like a skid loader. Yeah, voiced by Cal Harbor. And then later on, he becomes a full blown excavator. Does he? appears in ready steady build scratchy is technically his biggest brother yeah that's that's not that's not coming up that's not that's not but then again my, my first one came up with the wrong thing there we'll rename into scratchy because stretch to me does sound more like a a, a boom crate doesn't it Renamed to Scratchy. Congratulations. Jane, hello! Welcome! We were talking about Bob the Builder and getting very confused because I just learnt there is a remake of Bob the Builder and it confused the life out of me. But no, there there is no there are no vampires or thieving wizards in this game. There is only dig. Dig all the stuff. And uh lay all the pipes. And do all the things. Uh, so right, we've unlocked we've unlocked um story. Um and yes, and happy a happy Tuesday to you as well. I hope you are having a good one. See that pouring stone seems like this is working pretty well. Yeah, pouring 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 stone's good. Still a little bit on the edge with that. Pouring stone is fine when you pour um it's when you pour the stone with dirt it becomes a problem. So but yeah. That's good to know. That's good to know. I really feel like rather than filling in the water in places, I should just have giant piles of stuff ready for doing things with. But then we want more land. So and we have claimed lots of land over the time. Yeah. Pens aren't have pies for sales. They change a lot. Everyone complains about the pens, the, the pie rate of pens. Oh, no, no. Full time met the new neighbours, had tacos, pretty good day. Yep. Sounds like a good day to me. <laughs> okay, let us find ten random uh trucks to be removed from existence. Uh, that are not assigned to any digger play. So we're gonna go you because you are empty you you're empty there's two three four five six 
seven, eight. You're assigned to a tower. You're assigned over there. I could just do this trip here, couldn't I? I oh, know, because that's so uh, available to assign as well. Eight. Nine. And ten. Off you go. Ba 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 ba. In they all go. To be munched upon. No. We've been one at a time, but no. I got the way, the way they drive, the way they go like full steering lock and then edge forward a bit and edge back. It makes me feel like they're remote control cars. <laughs> you remember how it's like you tap the reverse on them and they spin around 45 degrees? It's like, oh yeah, okay, that's, right. that, that's what they remind me of. But he drives forward. Oh, I turned the wrong way there. Got reverse back. I got to turn this way. They do look like remote control cars. <laughs> Trying to negotiate the turns, then turn here, then turn there, and <laughs> and pop. There we go. We have dealt with ten of them, and then we're going to build ten big ones. So yeah, so we get rid of ten and get thirty back, essentially. I suppose having a bit of a mixture of them isn't a bad thing because these can only carry obviously one good at a time, so. Yeah, it's great. You've got 60. You can carry 60, but this only needs 30 of them. So you're wasted. Whereas if a truck was to do that, yeah, it would be two trucks for that in that case. But no, it's, a, it's a balancing act. It's a balancing act. Right, let's dig all this out and let's see how you're doing things here. I'm not quite sure what the rules are on dumping. Do you just dump at the nearest dump site or do they go to this one because this one's the first dump site? Not enough fuel to refuel vehicle. Which bit? Which one? You're right, there is not enough fuel to refuel vehicle. Why is it not enough fuel? Is this just not keeping up? Is this really just not keeping up? Rubber maybe eating it. That's true. That's true. I very, very seriously regret building all this other stuff around the edge of here. Because now we need to expand this. Although we do need to modify it as well. Because we actually have better storage now. We have the, uh, uh, the fluid storage 3. Which is... Which is way bigger than just one around the outside. It is the equivalent of four. I did not think it was that big. I didn't think it was that big looking at it. It's the equivalent of four storages together. Yeah, I, I mean, I, when I looked at it, um, granted, I didn't see it next to one of these ones here. I just saw that it had four connectors. But I didn't, I did not think it was that big. I, th I thought it was one bigger all the way around, which is why I was questioning over there whether it was just one bigger on two sides or that. I thought it was just, it was one tile bigger than everything. Instead of being a, a four by four, it was a six by six. But no, this is 
This is an 8x8. And we need to rebuild this this anyway. This this needs to be rebuilt. Because this is great and this works wonderful. Um, but I am kind of trapped in an area here. Uh, also, I, I really would like thermal desalination. So I don't have to worry about running the boilers in here. Can we get that? Can we get thermal desalination? We can there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, very, very good. I I I I am not disappointed by the build. I'm disappointed that I did the whole we'll just add some stuff on the edge of it and we'll build this here and build that and, and, and bury the pipes. Burying the pipes was great fun. I loved it, but it's not something I would ever do again. Unless you can actually bury pipes without having to dig the ground up. As in you 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 put the pipes underground and then an excavator comes along and digs it and does does like a trench for it, put the pipes in. Like it's all done in one go. Uh, I feel the concept of burying pipes is not great unless you're doing a very long pipeline. Then it makes sense. This was just this was just fun. To be honest, this was just fun to find out how it works. And it works and it's great. Um, you know, this pipeline here, that kind of makes sense for the length of it. That does make sense, but but I don't think I'd do that again. I'd much rather run the pipes above ground and then every now and then bring them down to, to do stuff, yeah. But we'll leave this here and we'll rebuild it. We'll rebuild it elsewhere. I can copy the centerpiece. The centerpiece is fine. That's not an issue. That that all works. And we can copy all the pipes with it as well because that will still work fine. We have to redo some of the pipe connections because of storage and things. But um, essentially just put three big pipes on the end. I think three big storages on the end. Have all the pipes run to the end. And then do it next door and do it next door. See your underground pipes covered with the check to see if they're farmable. Oh, what is input? Ah, 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 yes, 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 yes. Um, yep, 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 there are pipes on the ground barreled under there. And if we come here and do that, yes, yes, you can. So you just need one layer of dirt. So that could be an interesting thing as well. You could run pipes underground. You would have to really future plan for that. Really, really future plan if you wanted to do pipes underneath farm. But yes, so we can do that. It's just this little bits and pieces here and everywhere. So that's okay. So we can do that. That's fine. Right, I want to get the desalination plant up and running right why is this constantly stopping what's what's wrong something is broken here i need to dump sour water i need to dump sour water if it's not in use Parents pool. Uh, I want a pipe balancer. Can you plug a pipe balancer directly? You can't plug a pipe balancer directly into a building. I have to plug a pipe into it. Very good. Okay. That's okay. Connect this to there. Connect this to there. And connect this. Upgrade that pipe. And 
happen and unity bum, 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 bum. and then you want to party out this side there we go and then any any uh sour water will now go into here what do you need you need 36 hour water so this could all be a standard pipe I think or did it have to be a pipe mark 2 I can't remember 18 you know it needs to be a pipe mark 2 upgrade uh, upgrade that can be a mark 1 pipe no it can't it needs to be a mark 2 pipe upgrade Are those pipes in the ground? Uh, yes, uh, there is a pipe underground here, uh, which is connected to a connection. What I love about this, you can barely see it. But if I zoom in, you can see that manhole cover. Uh, that's an underground pipe connection, one one tile underground. So, um, yeah. yeah, it was mentioned in a few streams ago that you can bury pipes, and then I went, we must bury pipe. It must be done. So we did. We started burying pipe. So yeah, all these pipes underground. We have oil oil pipes directly underground here, um, and these are all pipes. These main oil pipelines are underground. These were all going to go all the way through underground, but we needed storage as well, so um, we had to dig a bit out. But, yeah, but you have to dig the trench first, put the pipes in, and then fill on top. So you need a bit of future planning. Um, alternatively, uh, what I've just learned as well is that you can put pipes on the ground like this. And then just tell your trucks to fill on top of them and then you can drive over them so yeah we could tell our trucks to uh, uh fill here and then have slopes either side and uh they will they will fill over the top of it and and uh, they can they can drive over it so. yeah that's an option you can have we're gonna have to do something with the pipeline because we're gonna we were gonna do a pipe a, that's what I was doing here, wasn't I? I was going to build out so we could put the cargo depots over there. I don't know if I want to do that now. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. This work. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a good Tuesday. Um. Uh, did it get some nice farm setups? Um not really if i'm honest with you the these these were haphazardly thrown together they're working they're very working they're very reliant on trucks to move things around on, on our pickup and truck moving around we have no conveyor belts coming out of them i want to redo them uh, which is why we're kind of working on stuff over here to do things but we discovered we don't have enough diesel so i need to redo our cracking plant and the plan was to go over here and we're building a peninsula out here so that we could put our heavy docks on here the uh, heavy dock the uh, mark ii docks but then i don't know what i'd do with the oil that will come in where would we pipe the oil to we're we going to pipe it straight along back to here or are we going to do oil production somewhere else Feel like we may need to yeah we could yeah we could always redo this as well because you can't upgrade these oh you can upgrade them i didn't think you what well, wait what what now i thought Okay, when when I f when I first researched it, you couldn't upgrade them. Now I can. Look, they were a bigger size.
Okay. So we can upgrade them. So I don't need to do things there. Does that just mean that they're good? I'm just... Just push the buttons and upgrade them. Let's just do that and then not worry about that peninsula over there. Let's cancel this. Cancel this here. Um, stop. 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 I would much rather you fill up over here. Okay. That can be used for something later. Yes, we have blocked our trade center off. I don't care. Trade center is not important. Um, uh, not sure which fruits to place. Oh, what, what plants to place in there? Uh... Make it for lumber or something? That's true, yeah, we could put lumber over there. That wouldn't be a problem. Um, the way we did look into this, we did look into this trying to figure lots of stuff out with this, and also trying to figure out exactly, for some bizarre reason, how big a loaf of bread was. Um, uh, because one loaf of bread can feed 42 people for a month. It's a big loaf of bread. Uh, but basically I discovered is that the best way I've found uh, the simplest way so far is you do one field of whatever plant you want and then you do one of the green manure this one here the, uh, the green manure um, and that will replenish the land enough to then return to your one crop and you dedicate a farm to each crop because it mentions about crop rotation but the farm just has a single fertility uh stats it doesn't have individual fertility stats more like they are in real life so you know one plant may use nitrogen in real life another plant may use something else and you have to balance it all in this is just fertility so it's just basically have have your one crop cycle and then one green manure and then just let it repeat and it seems to work pretty well the thing that was confusing the bejesus out of me for ages was this one here you can have an empty crop for three months and it naturally replenishes the stuff but when you put that in, it doesn't affect this number here, even though it should. And it actually does. If you let the crop do, do its thing, it does affect and you do end up getting a higher yield. But it doesn't, it's not represented on here. It's missing that, this one here. See, that doesn't change the 14 at all. Whereas I put that in, it changes it to 10 because it knows that it's going to take longer to do it. It should be lower than 10 because we're taking longer to do that. It just seems to ignore it, which threw me right off for ages so so my very limited advice when it comes to field one crop one green manure let it repeat and as soon as you get fertilizer start throwing fertilizer into your farms if you can and that seems to work pretty well seems to work pretty well yeah right okay um yeah making that for lumber wouldn't be a bad idea we can always change the trade knock out here as well no. but i don't want to fill it in now in that case come fill this in instead do this one this one is far better how's this coming along are you managing to uh dig out now you're taking a really long time because you don't have that many trucks time to you and you have to travel a really really far distance to um uh dump off things but that's okay that's fine You're digging this out quite nicely. That's fine. Why is this isn't breaking here? What's wrong with you? Cannot dump waste anywhere. Uh, oh, did I? What? That's not dig. That's not the dig is yellow. Is it? Is it because I haven't built a slope to come down to it? Is that? Is that? Is that why it's moaning? Anyway, they're moving. Right. Interesting. I kind of figured there was a slope there already. Because, you know, it looks like there's a slope there to me. 
but I guess it's too steep for the trucks. Okay, our power has died, which makes sense. Power's going to give up because we don't have any coal. We don't have any coal. Why don't we have any coal? Because I took the coal diggers out, didn't I? Or because we're running low on diesel? No, wait, what? Hang on. We have coal. Right. Um we have coal. Uh no water is full. This is coal. They are running out of coal. I'm gonna make this number one priority. I keep doing this, I keep making things number one priority. Probably not the great of ideas. We doing that sort of thing, but need a better fuel system, but there's no, there's no There's no... Can't use oil, because our oil's not working anymore either. <laughs> so, not like I use oil to do stuff. Diesel is really struggling. Don't know how to speed this up. At least we're getting rid of the... the um... We're not getting rid of the sand water. What's happening with our sand water? Why do both pipes never work at the same time? Even though they're all Mark II. Why are you not sending stuff both direct? Have I... Did it again. I did it again. I put pipes in the wrong way around. Damn it. Yep. Yeah, I did that last time. I did that... This entire oil build wasn't running for ages at full capacity because I had one pipe facing the way around. And I couldn't figure it out for ages. And I did. Uh, but we do, we have got that because we're actually running, this uh, This system is running on oil, light oil and heavy oil. But the problem is this hasn't been running because it hasn't been, it hasn't been getting there. Maybe it's just we've been, we, are, we were full of sour water. Maybe that's the problem. We were just using too much sour water. Now we're dumping. Now everything should be working fine. Of course, everything in here, all its output, the wastewater, everything like that, is all coming out of these pipes here. So, makes sense why it would be struggling. Um, okay, your full on wastewater, which is fine. You were just an offset to us anyway. That's fine. Can I boost these and make them run faster? If I do, will it mess up anything inside the system? I think we're producing more steam than we need. Yeah, we're producing way more steam than we need there. Let's use our Unity to boost all of our oil gut. Which might affect our Unity production, but we've got loads of Unity, so we can just use that to boost stuff. I just need to make sure that we're not going to end up consuming more than we do. I'm also going to boost the output because we're now producing way more than we had before. Uh, what are you dumping? You're dumping it's 120 per minute, and we're only the pipes are 200. Yeah, you should be up to him. Okay, let's do that. Yes, we're using Unity. Right, we'll we'll we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Maybe, hopefully, possibly. Right, I feel like I want to up our excavators in our coal area. I feel like we should up all these to be actual 
excavator. I want a button that upgrades them. I want it to take it, drive into there, take it apart, and build a bigger excavator from it. And you saving like some of the good. That would be cool. Okay, so we're going to be full on this here. Population is dropping. Yeah, health is now dropping because we're obviously dumping so much more crap into the water. And for some reason, people don't like it when you pollute the water. I can't think why. I can't possibly think why anyone would not want, you know, polluted water. Yeah. I mean, who wouldn't like to get three-eyed fish all the time? Be great. Another question as well. Do you know anyone know how deep you can dig? Because uh, I just wonder if you can like dig down to the core of the earth and just you know <laughs> get some lava power if you dig down deep enough. I suppose the only way to find out would be to like start here and dig that way as far as you can go. Uh, <laughs> to the bottom so far. Minus thirty or something. Okay. Well, we're on minus eleven. <laughs> I really want to try that. You're you're digging out the edge of that now, aren't you? Yeah, we have to go too wide. Okay. Okay. Let's go too wide around. Right? They're, they're fighting each other. They're, they're digging the stuff and the truck's going up and dumping it at the bottom. They're digging it again, the truck's going up. Again. <laughs> okay. Minus 30 something. Right. Well, yeah, we're, we're minus 11 here. So, um, we might try that. We might try digging to the center of the earth at some point as well. See what happens. Dig down, find the lava, get geothermal. What could go wrong? Our sulfur truck, uh, truck. Our sulfur water truck is going. Off you go, water truck. Do your thing. Uh, you're actually a bigger truck. A, a truck. <laughs> Not even a truck. Stop saying there's a truck. Damn it. Um. <laughs> coal mines one on the way to China. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> where is the coal mine at the moment? Is that is that actually deeper at the moment? Where is the coal? Uh, actually, yeah, the coal mine's minus thirteen. Oh, and then we went flat. We have to dig the coal mine deeper though, because there's still coal on, underneath there, isn't there? Yeah, there's still coal underneath there, so we have to go deeper. Coal mine's minus thirteen, so we're doing well. I always see truck driving towards the edge. It's like, no, stop it! Don't do it! Don't do it! It's not worth it. Don't do it. Um, right, so we've now upgraded to four of everything. So I assume we can add more stuff onto here. Uh, also, we have fluid modules. And loose modules. And unit module. What does that do? Cargo depot transfer and units produced, such as construction parts, can be built in an empty slot on the cargo depot. What's that for? Why would you want to... Oh, is that for the... Is that for trading? See, this is quick trade. And then one of these had... Um, uh, contracts. So we could sell vehicle parts for crude oils, but you need to ship for that, don't you? The quick trading is just instant trade. But the contracts are for... Actual ship delivery. So we'd have to fill the ship, send the ship off, bring the ship back. That's that's my understanding, anyway. Uh, right, our tree farm is done. That's cool. Uh, uh. Do you know what? You're there. You might as well load some cargo. Bring it back here. Uh, so, well, I'm going to make this uh, medium fuel module. Quick deliver those and we do upgrade these two as well. And quick deliver because why not? <laughs> Bring all the things. There we go. Now I've got a big dilemma because I don't really know what to do with this here. Um because my piping system is all gonna be all sorts of messed up.
all sorts of messed up. Um, so liquid just goes to crude oil. This one you can choose, can't you? You can choose sulfur or um, things. Yeah, future rejig. I think for now I'm just going to plug it into the pipe that's there. Um, see what weird jiggery poker it does if we try to do stuff like this. Plug, plug that one in there. Plug that one in there. There we go. They're all connected. Okay. It's because I didn't realise you could upgrade them. I, ev everywhere that I've seen and other people that I've watched them have all said the same thing. You can't upgrade shipyard. You have to destroy them and rebuild them. And then I click the button and the upgrade's there. <laughs> so it's like, they fixed it, I guess. I guess they fixed it. I don't know. Yeah, there was there, there was actually three patches released today for this. Uh, well, yesterday for me anyway. Um, there was the big the big one which did the whole uh, you can copy um, other things. You can copy other, and then there was uh, two minor patches which fixed some things. So maybe it was updated and fixed in there. Maybe it's been updated for a while. I just wasn't aware. Um, I think we're good for oil though. I don't even really need this one running. If I'm honest with you. Uh, we might, if I pause the ship, will you still empty? You will. You still empty your cargo. Okay. We'll pause that ship for the minute. Yeah, you can copy paste pipes and conveyors, which is so nice. So, so nice. Fantastic. Uh, lowest priority. Um, I can't lower the priority out unless I put a balancer down here and then run like eight lines into one and prioritize one over the other, which we could do. I suppose that would make... No, I can't do that. Hold on. Could we have four lines of this and four lines there and four lines out? Which is 12. And the balance running has eight. Also, the tooltip on that still confuses me. Doesn't the ship have a priority? Uh, nope, the ship does not have a priority. The shipyard does, but that's for trucks, isn't it? That's for keeping the um, diesel. Diesel in it. So we could starve it for diesel, I suppose. Or I could just pause it. It still it still appears to empty the ship, even though it's paused. Um, so we'll just empty the ship out, see how it goes. We are using a lot of oil, though. Now I'm looking at that, we are actually using a lot of oil. So maybe we don't want to pause it. Um, maybe we do want to figure out this balancing thing. What's the throughput? What's the throughput? Tell me what your throughput is. You don't tell me. Don't know. Hmm. Oh, so you're running at capacity because you're you're sat at 30 percent so that's running from this one although you're both now going to run out on you why are you feeling up and down what's going on here Where are you getting the oil from? Oh, because... Oh, yeah. You're getting the oil because the ship's still there. The ship's still there, you... You numpty. I 
genuinely thought the ship left. <laughs> I genuinely thought the ship had left. Uh, oh, I hope there's enough space there. Uh, go. Upgrade. Okay, and then um, we don't want to pause you. You want to go. You want to do the thing. Uh, don't know what pipe connects to what thing so I am literally just going to do this um, which does mean that this is all sorts of wrong here uh, this one should connect to this one and this one should connect to that one but I can't get pipes in and out of there because of how I built this so the outside lines are now technically running the inside lines are running two and the outside ones are running four. So, uh, six. Uh, yeah, one, two. So, that one, that one, yeah. The outside ones are running four and these ones are running two. So, yeah. I'm just concerned about saturating a pipe. I don't know. I don't know what the throughput speed of these are. So you're pumping out. Doesn't tell me how fast you're pumping out. You don't have any crude oil in there, so you're emptying the pipe. Um, and the pipe is not full. Running on one here. But this pipe is getting full because it's technically running three. Yeah, each one is running three. Yeah, so this, this, this is running three. That pipe's running three. And these ones are running one each. It does look as though, however, they are just, they're not, it's not, I mean, it's not. It's dealing with it. It's dealing with it. It's not going up or down. I think if this one comes back as well, then the pipes will start getting saturated. Um, yeah, they're keeping up. It's just, there's no number. The pipes tell me that it can deal with 200 every minute. But there's no number as to what these pump at. Unloads cargo, cargo 50% faster compared to the basic model. I mean, you, I assume the basic model unloads at pipe 1 speed. But then these would unload at pipe 2 speed. No, 50% faster would be, I don't, I don't, I don't know. If it becomes a problem, we'll do something about, about... I just need to basically connect this one to there. And this one to there. Uh, to there, sorry. Which is not doable because of the space I've left behind. Because I buried the pipe. A foolish, foolish carpenter. Burying the pipes. What's wrong? Truck cannot navigate to destination. What destination? Ah yes, of course. Of course, you can't. You are you are absolutely right, truck. Well done. Well spotted, truck. Yeah, the new tanks have blocked off the edge. I see these pipes are empty now. This pipe is empty. Are you empty? No, it's still full. Wait, what? Oh, this pipe is filling now. Why is it filling? Mind you, all the pipes end up going into the same place here, I've just realised anyway. Because they connect here. So all the pipes end up <laughs> end up in the same place. <laughs> We're going to dig that pipe up at some point. We're, we're going to dig that up. 
and, and do away with it. Um, right, what's wrong now? Why aren't you running? Missing input, missing steam? Uh, missing input water? Really? Missing input water? Brian is full. Oh yeah, because Brian is here because salt is full. Ah, we filled up with salt. Yeah, it doesn't matter what I do with the pipes. The pipes are all there. So we, we've, we've, we've filled up with salt. What can we do with salt? Um, we can make brine with it <laughs> why would you want to make brine is brine used in something it's got to be uh we can make glass or we can make glass um i, I suppose we could do our first grand storage thing That's fluid storage. Don't do that. Uh, instant deliver. How much did this store? Two thousand one hundred and sixty. Three hundred and sixty. Wow. Wait, what? Hang on. They are way better. 180 doubles to 360. Doesn't quadruple. That's only... 12... 1440. That's 1440, isn't it? Four of those together is 1440. 360, 360p times 4 is 1440p. So yeah. And that stores 2160. They are way better than building four of those. That's cool. Now I just gotta hope this keeps up with the Brian output. Which it probably isn't going to. Um Mind you, we're struggling to keep the water input, aren't we? Yeah, that's the issue. Yeah, Brian is still full. Yeah. Thicker walls, yeah. I suppose it, it wouldn't be four times the amount because obviously you've got... You, you're using all the space up in the centre, so it would be more than that. But that's like... 20... 2160... 2K resolution, yep. Yeah. Um, it's 50% on top of it. So, so it is taking all four, added together, and then adding 50% to give you the large one that's cool we well, like that now here's a question does the fluid storage input and output line up with anything here they kind of do you can plug them onto there couldn't do that there is there Do, we could do more salt makers. We very much could do more salt makers. Uh, right, this is making 24 brine. Uh, so that's 24, 48. That's 96 brine. And you use 48. So we need one more. We need one more to cover them all. That's the 48 there. Um, no, we could do one more as well, I suppose. I suppose we have the space for it. And then we'll have to plug it into there instead. Make brine someplace else as well. I don't believe so. We're not using a basic distiller to distill water. Oh, no, we are. Yes, we are. Over here. And we're dumping the brine. 
we dump the brine back in the water. Um, and it doesn't, brine doesn't pollute either. So, yeah. Uh, the desalinator is over by the power? Yeah, we're dumping it back in the water there. So. It's fine, it's fine. Well, there's an interesting, uh, interesting bit of knowledge for you there. Apparently, pipes are prioritized one over another somewhere. Because these are all empty and these are full. Which means that this pipe here is getting a higher um, priority on the connector. Truck cannot reach destination. How did you get in there? How did you do that? I bet you drove in here like an idiot and then got stuck because this has been dug out. Or maybe you drive over the wall because we saw one drive over a belt before, didn't we? Um. Yeah, yeah, they, they do that. Yeah, we, um, wasn't it here? Um, we found a truck parked in here, or, or here, or something. It, it, it was in here, and we, we looked at how? How did you get in there? How was that actually possible? <laughs> but yeah, the truck drove over a belt, and I was like, I can't get out now. <laughs> Which is quite funny. Um, it's very nice to see that I have actually trucks just sat around doing nothing now. That's really nice. I'm very happy for that. Very, very happy for that. Um, we've got another truck there as well. Just doing nothing. Cool. I have two idle excavators that I apparently can't click on. Available to sign zero, idle two. Are you are you the idle ones? Is that what it is? I'm gonna go with you, the idle ones, because you can't do anything out here for the minute because there's no trucks coming over here. That's fine. Um, should have really put some waste over there. Uh, yeah, probably do want to reassign the uh, the stuff there. Oh. Uh, We have no workers. Ten workers are needed. Oh my. Um, we're not unity boosting anything else, are we? No, it's just here. Uh, let's unboost those. Um, and let's see here. These are all balanced. So if I boost one, I've got to boost the other one. Missing input of raw. Wow. Okay, we can unboost those. Um, because we are missing oil. I guess the pipeline can't keep up. A single pipeline was not enough. Which makes sense. 54. Uh, so that's 100. That's 200. Yeah, this wouldn't keep up. The oil will not keep up here. I need to run another oil line into this. Conveniently, we have one here. Can I get it in there? <laughs> I'm just gonna do that. Just gonna, no. Oh.
I hate underground pipe. I really, really hate underground pipes. They do such random things like that. Why did that collapse when I just put in a ghost structure? It's not even like there was anything, but I, I get it might collapse when the pipe was built, but the pipe hasn't been built yet. Why would you collapse now when the pipe hasn't been built yet? Cancel the pipe. We can't afford to build the pipe right now. Um, okay. Um, we need to. We need to. We need to dig the ground up here now. Oh. Oh, I'm never burying pipes ever again. Ever again. Or if we are burying pipes, it's going to be when they're on ground level. You know, we, we bury on top of them. We don't bury underneath them. Oh, this is just, just so, so annoying. Uh, we've got fuel station two now. What does that do? Truck signs, fuel stations, law fabricated excavators and tree harvesters at the working sites. They don't waste time going to them on their own. Provides increased storage for re and refueling rate from the previous tier. Okay. Uh, we need more workers as well and I need to not drop everything uh, so I need to build more of these build more of those. we need more workers more workers more more all right can I get a uh, an excavator from somewhere please or something somewhere uh, I don't want to build some more excavators anyway because we need to definitely do something to do with our coal uh, I'm gonna steal one from here because you are not needed to do this right now give me your excavator I don't know how far back I need to dig this because I don't know where the pipe is. Like just a little bit, just a little bit on the end broke. Okay. the best place to actually run it. More Wookiees? More Wookiees? Down as well. 
feel like this is really not needed anymore. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to delete the building. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a, a balancer here. And I'm going to prioritise this over this one. So if there's any crude oil spare, then it will go into here. Really, the output should come over to here as well. That would make more sense. But we are currently bootstrapping this until I can figure something out with better oil. get built already they did get built already we need our population to increase tenfold uh, no orders ship ship you are full of cargo come home let's turn our beacon on hey you guys Yeah, turn our bacon on. That's going to be the priority out. And this one is not priority at all. The bacon is lit. Gondor calls for munchies. Bada ba ba da ba ba da. Oh yeah, you should have um, uh, no. You have no input, no output. Trucks cannot deliver to here. We do not want trucks delivering to here. Come on, dig up the damn line already. <laughs> Job these aren't working, the belts aren't finished. You've done the thing, you've done the thing, you've dug the hole. Oh, can we see it? Can we see it? We can, we can see it. Can I click it? Can't because it's collision with terrain. No. I think is it? Pleasure with terrain. Okay, we need to dig a bit more. I might not even bury it in. I might just dig it and leave it open. <laughs> it's just just annoying. Finish copper refinement level two. Cool. We get thermal desalination next. And this is the important one that I'm looking for because that's going to replace these and do it in a better way oh stuff is we might have to fill in a little bit there okay okay that's fine transport selected position was not found oh well, that is probably because we put a new belt in here a new line in here Uh, 
Okay, so we put a new line in and we can't dig above it? What? What in the what now? Oh, you need to dig out more. You need to go and dig out some more. Something's not right here. New refugees! Woohoo! Now we turn off the beacon again. Our ship has come back. Yay! And we cannot unload into the dock. Why can't we unload into the dock? Buried the pipe to build the new pipe once we did the old pipe. I regret burying pipes. No, there we go. We are connected. Okay, there you go. So the issue was that the digger, uh, the excavator had not quite uh, finished, built, finished um, digging. You only want to dump dirt here, please. Yeah. Right, you are going to go and be scrapped. Yeah, can't load because dock is full. Doesn't actually tell you how much a dock can store. Doesn't doesn't tell you anywhere how much a dock is stored. Um, the shipyard is overloaded with cargo, which is really daft that it can only store like 300 bits of wood. But one of these, one of these little ones can store 180, and even the Mark IIs can store more than that. What, why, what's, what's this giant warehouse here? What is this? doesn't make any sense okay so uh, and you two trucks are going to be scrapped and you are going to make Excavator. We're going to replace all the excavators in here. Yeah, the dock. Is, uh, I feel like you're not really supposed to have anything in the dock, like ever. Um, but there is no uh, pipe. There's one pipe in the dock for diesel. There's no way you can unload things via belt, so you have to use trucks to do it. And the trucks just ignore the dock. It is set to export priority one. The trucks just kind of ignore it and I don't know what to do about it. I suppose there's no way for them to put it because this is full. Because you are producing enough to keep this going all the time. And I can't boost it with unity. No, because now there's there's 720 wood on my ship, which I can't do a great deal with. Generic storage of the boonies. The problem with that sort of storage is that it will fill with other things from my factory. If, if I could pipe stuff out of here, if I could have like a conveyor belt coming out of here, 
I could do that because I could set the limit to be, you know, always empty this and it would empty down here. But I can't do anything with it. I mean, the keep emptying thing still doesn't let you unload the wood. It's set to keep empty. It's priority one. Yet none of my ships are coming here because none of this is in use. That's the problem. None of this, I think, is in use at all. No. You can't just destroy things either. Right, annoying. I suppose what we could do is um, wood, impure copper, rubber is something that's used all over the place, but I don't know whether I think he's asking for rubber. Um, you are kept full for rubber, but then you are currently full of rubber, so that work. You're rubber, uh, uh, you're not rubber at the moment, you are someone else. So. Cement. Gravel, I suppose? Nope, can't spill gravel in there. Construction parts mark two. Boom. And then we need a generic loose storage. Grab. Okay. Dump gravel. I have I have dumps available for gravel to be dumped. It just seems to ignore the shipyard. This is this is an issue I had before, where my truck, in, unless there was no other place to get the goods from, then they'd come to the shipyard. They, they didn't seem to want to prioritise it, even though it's set to be there. Um, no, there's no logistics to it. But what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to assign like a truck to each one of these. I should have done this. I should have just quick built them, but I didn't. Fine. Um, but if I upgrade this, it's going to require construction parts. Okay. The nearest construction parts are right here. Uh, or were right here. Now they've gone. Okay, it must be that just in my factory, I am not asking trucks to deliver something. But there's nowhere that's requiring rubber. There's nowhere that's requiring wood. Even though I know there is. But I think you are... Uh, yeah, you're set to empty. Why are you not set to full? Oh, uh, because... Um, uh, yeah, because if I set it to full, the trucks come pick up from here and drop in there. And that's stupid. We don't want that. Should have done a big construction for uh, the wood. That would have made a bit more sense. Like an uber, uber big construction area. The um, this thing, this thing, the unit storage street. Should have done that for wood. Store all my wood in here, please. Take my wood. Upgrade. Get on with it. You can have 
going to move this here. So, so the shipyard looks as if it can store 400 of whatever. So it has 400 spare slots inside. Also, don't know why that keeps doing. Stay on the screen. No, I will not. I reset back to that position every single time. Okay, they're going to deliver wood to there. Don't really know what wood is used for. Oh, you're struggling for iron. You're struggling for iron. What's happened to our iron? Uh, I suppose we'll not be mining iron. Uh, we have been mining dirt for a while. In this big hole. Can I assign some of you to iron? Reckon that might work now. Do you reckon they fixed that? Iron. 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 <gasps> it, 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 uh, are you going or are you going to go for diesel? No, you're going. He did the thing. He did the thing. Oh, they move when they finish the toll they're on, do they? Oh, okay. Well, we do know 100% it was broken previously because up at the limestone and sand, they just completely ignored sand when neither of them had anything to do. So it was definitely broken. Okay, you're just going to stay over here. I wish I could prioritize like two things. I want you to do dirt and stone. Rock and stone. Rock and stone. Oh no, you can just stay here. And then you can do it. Uh, right, you are going to get assigned a... Two excavators. We have two spare excavators? We do? Cool. Uh, the plus sign, uh, it, basically you choose, you choose what you want, so you go, it's dirt, and then you click it again, and you change it to that, it just changes, changes the number there, it doesn't actually specify anything, so. So I want you two actually doing coal, you, you are both going to definitely prioritise the coal over anything else, and you haven't started work yet, so are you going to go, yes. So yeah, so it was broken before, now it is fixed. Because if you remember up, wrong button, up here, we had two of them, and I set one to lime, one to sand, and both of them just went to dig limestone. They ignored the sand completely, but now now that is fixed, that is good. So it's fine that they have to finish the uh, the thing they're doing, but that's, that's okay. Sign all the little ones, the dirt, just so I can move things around uh, you only got rock anyway from the other side that's okay they set the rock instead of dirt <laughs> yeah probably be set to uh, rock. Oh, you're going to go over to here. You found some dirt? Yes, you did. Uh, can I copy vehicle? No. Sign all these and start signing a bigger truck for this because we're going to replace all the all the ones in here with excavators. 
So Building a pillar maze collapse due to uneven surface. Oh, that's because we're only allowed to dump dirt in here for the minute. That's okay. I should probably say dirt and stone as well, shouldn't I? Not like we can actually. Uh, farm in the area. with you missing input of oh god oh god we're out of why are you not going why are you not going don't we have two don't we have two oil rigs we do have two oil rigs. for all yeah that's that's one when you I don't know where you see where he went to you can't see your your cargo ships on here I ah, see so you went to here and now you Did they just magically go to either one and or, or both of them at the same time I feel like that's the thing they might be doing. Because both of these went down on their crude oil amount they were stored. I would I would much rather assign each one to each place. So Yeah, you don't actually see it, they just sort of go, don't they? And I don't know, a bit weird. A bit weird. Right, you still have got loads of Loads of stuffs and things and things and stuffs. Which is a uh... yeah. Uh, right. So can you empty that and empty that and empty this and empty this and empty this. I don't know where you're going to empty it to, but could you empty it all? And then could we start loading the ship with all three components? And like do it twice. So you can take them from here and put them back in again, which is fine if you want to do that. I don't mind that. unstable I didn't think you were digging close enough to the oh mind you you're digging it yeah it is kind of dirt and it, that's the thing we need to pile up 
rock there instead. We'll see what happens. We'll see. But three and six. Okay. All right. We we're doing okay. Diesel's going up. Diesel's going up. This is good. We're not struggling for diesel. Uh, this is not getting thin because it's being starved for oil. Makes sense because all the oil is going to hit and then being used. And we have nearly, we have a thousand salt stored. I'm not using salt. I'm not using salt for anything anymore. Uh, may have to. Looking to get in the food processor. We can farm a fermenter. Core machine oxygen makes ethanol and carbon dioxide. Ethanol and sulfur makes rubber. A gas boiler can run on water and ethanol, create steam and carbon dioxide. Clean gas boilers. That's good. Uh, plastic. This gives the plastic, doesn't it? Uh, snacks. Snack production. This is what we want. We want snack production. But we need plastic. We have to get plastic. We need electrolysis. Which takes water and produces oxygen and hydrogen. Or takes brine and produces chlorine. Or we could make a beeline for uh, nuclear power. I don't know. It would also give us the waste water production so we could deal with some of the waste water stuff. I know I'm playing on the easiest setting, but I mean, dumping stuff in the ocean really isn't so bad. I suppose playing on the harder settings, it becomes very much more difficult. Let me take. What is that? Nafla. What is Nafla when it's at home? What's that? Is that how you pronounce that word? Napalm. Not Napalm. Um, Nafla. But how how is how how is it pronounced? That's 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 what I'm saying. I, I know I know I know it's a form of fuel. Petroleum Nepha, 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 Nepha. Google tells me Naphtha 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 Right, okay
Okay. So, so it's pronounced like that. Nath. Well, I don't know why it's said. Yeah. Why is that put in? I don't know why that's putting double lines in. Whatever. Um. Nath. Nath. Wall. Yeah. Pronounced that. Weird. Weird. Okay. Try. I. Just, I was. I. I don't. I've seen the word before. I've seen it around. Petroleum naffle, naffle, but I didn't know how to pronounce it. And as you may know, for a long, long time, I'm very, very good at get pronouncing things wrong. Uh, we have thermal desalination. So, uh, yeah, you're probably right. We should go back and do some other things as well because uh, we're missing a few things like chicken, chick, 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 chick. Power generation three. As well, we get a low pressure turbine. Which uses low steam and mechanical power. So we could double up the steam. Getting one mechanical power out of the the, the non-use steam. I don't know how useful that actually is. Don't know how that is. Uh, let's just start at the top and work our way down. Yeah, I can use lower steam to feed it to make it more efficient. However, um, obviously this is just venting off the steam. Oh, we need to figure something out to, to do it, but... Um, Oh, hold on. One megawatt. Did I misread it? Did I misread it? I may have misread it. Yes, no, it produces the same. It produces one megawatt power. Sorry, I mis misread it. I was like, hang on, doesn't the other one doesn't the other one give you like way more than that? That seems like a bit, but it's not. It's the same thing. So so with that, we could then run something in here to generate more, and I don't know how I'd do it. That's another redesign. That's another redesign. Um, yeah, you read what, what I meant there though was that I thought the low powered um, uh, the low power turbine produced a significantly small amount of power, as in like I thought the main one did a thousand and that was producing one. So I was like, is that worth it? But it's not one megawatt. I misread it. I thought it said kilowatt, um, or I thought the other one said a thousand kilowatts, and this one says megawatt. No, I misread it. Uh, right. I need to desperately do something about this here. It is, it is kind of catching up now, um, but we don't have enough oil coming in. And of the, the, it's not the oil is just not coming in fast enough. That's the problem. It's just not coming in fast enough. We need to upgrade our oil rigs, I think. Um, you got one. Can I load both? Nope, I cannot. Okay. Uh, so got there. Do that one first. Liver cost. I couldn't when, when I pressed when I pressed the button it didn't it, it, it just said hey ev oh, everything's loaded everything's loaded I can't it switches it doesn't queue them up so but the ship's gonna go here and upgrade this and then this will produce more He may have been able to store more on the boat. I'm sure I've done it before where I had it, uh, but I don't. I think I've done it before where I had multiple things on the on the ship, but not when it's like the same item, if that makes sense. Because both of these want the same thing. They both want 
construction part. I've had one that wanted construction parts and one that wanted something else, and I put both of them on the shipper one. Like one wanted iron plates and another one wanted construction parts. I've done that, but I think both together, it, it, yeah. It was saying no. It was saying no. So I wanted the construction parts and didn't take them out of this shipping. I am disappointed. We're getting our beach done. Good. You're digging down here. You're filling up out here. This is fantastic. Once you filled it up here, we will come in with a dozer and we'll just chop off all the top. You only got one, or you got two drugs. Uh, can you do there? Yeah. Seven, eight, ten. You got ten trucks. Well, you don't need ten trucks. You really don't need ten trucks for this. You could probably get away with five. Because one scoop of that fills up. Uh, yeah, one one scoop of this is twenty, and these hold sixty. So it's three scoops to fill one up, which was the same as it was on the pickups. It was three scoops to fill up. So, um, yeah. What I could do is uh, we could do that. So we get five little trucks and five big trucks. I don't think that's worth it actually. No, I don't I don't think that's worth it. Do six, do one more. Yeah, I don't I don't I I, I wanna get I just wanna get rid of all the little trucks. I don't I don't I don't wanna keep them in there. Um Don't, I mean, we, they're sat around anyway. Look, they're sat around doing nothing. Right now anyway. So. Adding another truck is just going to have another truck sat there doing nothing. Uh, what else do we want to write? So we still got 11 excavators to do. What can be dumped by truck? Oh, cool so we can we can dump compost we can dump the ore dump the gravel so we that that's just that's the generic dump thing never saw that before Uh, make loads more of those. Uh, I'm going to leave some dump truck, um, the pickup trucks I'm going to leave on here because I don't feel like it's worth swapping to a large truck. I know one truck could go around delivering to places, uh, but like this has. Uh, where was that? Where are you going? You're going to here, right? I hope you're back to here. I was thinking either one large truck, which will carry 60, or maybe just stick with the little ones. Because um, they can carry 20, and an excavator doesn't use 20 fuel. Good news is, however, our slope is complete. Yeah, here he goes. He's coming to fill up this. Well, yeah, it uses 10. So, um, yeah, there you go. He's going, he's going around filling up the stuff. So, one, 
one truck is is well enough for this. Okay, so we've got that dug out there. Cool. We want to dig out the other squad and all now. leave one by the wall although I do kind of want to just fill that in over there I think we want to, we want to fill this in because we want to run the wall like along here and then I don't know over here down same sort of thing we've done here whatever it doesn't matter I don't need to make it symmetrical it's fine just purely for a... I do want to make it symmetrical. I really do want to make it symmetrical. That's the thing. Okay, so what's this production level? That determines the output of the station, but also increases its demands on workers, maintenance units. These stations can be upgraded for a higher production level. So we can make it run faster. It requires 72 people. And 1.6 unity. Yeah, farms are something we're doing the project over here for this so fine we've got time we've got time i'm just i'm keeping an eye on the oil to make sure the oil is fine kind of having to do a little bit of waiting around for things to go uh our oil problem is just that our ships can't get the oil fast enough Yeah, um, I don't know what I want to do with the farm set up yet. I don't quite know what I want to do with it. Uh, farm, irrigated farm. Wasn't there a, another farm as well? Like a greenhouse? Yeah, it's a greenhouse there. There's a 25% increased crop yield, but crops also require a 13% water and facility. Gotta pay your coffee rent. I uh I've run out of coffee a long, long time ago. I'm drinking the water now. from the queue. Well that's annoying. I 
Uh, oh, actually, do you know what? I want to do the chicken farm as well. We're going to be redoing chicken, redoing farming. We might as well go all in with chicken farm. So we'll do that. We get the greenhouses. We get the chicken farm. I don't know what greenhouses require just more stuff. That's fine. Housing three is a thing we can get later. Um, the chicken farm gives us the ability to make meat trimmings and stuff. Chicken carcass, water and salt gives us meat and meat trimmings. So we could use salt more if we get the chicken farm going. That's cool. Um, where was it we saw doing our oh, snacks? Snacks are where we get the we use other stuff. Cooking oil. Don't know where we get cooking oil from. Cooking oil is made in a mill from canola or soya beans. We don't have any of those. We need to find those. You're already home. I know you're already home. You've got 150 storage on you. Okay, let's go upgrade the next <coughs> oh, rig. Oh dear. Um, we're going to need more workers though. Because it went from 36 to 72. Uh, we don't have 36 spare workers. Light the beacon! Come and join Hedrogtopia. You'll love it here. you with thing or bobs as well you also want to be kind of filling in some places here don't you as well so we're going to say would you turn off your dumping in the center we're done with that thank you very much Dig it around there, but we want to fill in some stuff as well. So let us grab the wall. Um, all in all, oh, I've got a retaining wall in there. I want to continue it along. I can't see, I can't see what I'm doing there. Yes. And one here. Okie dokie Jane, have a good one. Flip walls. Okay. So I want to go out further than this. I want to go out the same distance from here as we have from here. And then dig in. That's that's the idea. All nice and symmetrical like. Don't, yeah, I can't, no, I can't, I can't, I can rotate it, which is fine, but I was, I was trying to measure the distance by dragging all this down there, and then put it there and seeing how it goes, but, um, I cannot do that, I 
can I do that? Uh, what I could do, however, if I knew where they were, uh, is maybe do... that. Um, I should be in pan mode for that, but whatever. Uh, I can do that, and then I can copy that. Paste it there. correct is it that is not correct no no it is not got that one wrong Lovely, nice top area, please. Right. Oh yeah. oh yeah, you get trapped because of the... Uh... We don't actually want to build them. They were just purely markers. We don't actually want to build them. They were just... Like to run that wall all the way into the cliff but it doesn't particularly matter because that's kind of how big i want to dig this hole so we're going to dig along and like that on either side but even down either side right build the damn things there's no point in putting walls along here because it won't do it. We could do a couple of walls down there if we wanted to into into the dirt area, but I'm really not fussed about it. No orders. Oof. We need five more workers. No. Um, yeah, we need way more workers, which means we're going to need more population. We have 18, 20, right? Desperately going to need more population. Might have to come this way. Some of the population. Apparently there are, um, like, statues and plazas and stuff you can put in there to increase your population as well. Which probably should have done, but didn't. So... Is that but oh well. um we can't build down here because obviously we have the uh the town center and the fuel station the fuel station can be moved we have fuel station two now what about we build a fuel station two and we could even be really cheeky but the fuel station two like connected right up against the, the natural diesel line This is all going to be repaired, replaced at some point anyway, because we need to change some things up with this. Um, just don't know what to do with it, or how to do with it, and that is broken. Um,
Oh no, it's the uh, the liquid line. I don't know why you've only got one. You haven't got a recipe that, that produces liquid, so I don't know. Oh, okay, you got a liquid one there. Just sort of separate seawater from brine. So you can pump seawater into two of these and get salt out of them. Seawater to the brine, brine to. Cool. It's okay. That's okay. The old wall can be removed. Uh, yes, yes it can. Oh! I hate it here. I don't remove this one yet until this wall was built. in so. but it's okay it's okay we can do it this way it's a fine it's a fine it's no problem our beacon is still running isn't it didn't I, did I turn it off again no the beacon is still running cool Oh, that's true, it doesn't matter if it slumps down. Yeah, that's, that's very true. Then what happens when you magic do that? Does it end up in the shipyard? Yes. Yes, when you use Unity to deconstruct things, that's where it ends up in the shipyard. Okay. Would you go home? You're going to get a new bridge. weird thing on the on the dodgy oh no on the weird thing on the dodgy all right that's all right we can fit in some land down here it's fine it's fine it's no worries no worry you may dump all your dirt in here new refugees Woo, we have workers yay unity is going down uh we have edit farming boost you can turn those off we're constantly wasting food that we're going to tell people to fan up you can eat the food give us a unity bonus Continue. Okay, upgrade our ship with a better bridge. Uh, okay, how many how many excavators have we got there? Can we replace all the ones in here with excavators now? We currently have two. All of you are going to go off script. Rip. Rip. Rip.
Come on, don't feel lonely. Don't feel worried. You're going to a better place. Or you're not going anywhere. Don't want to move? No? I'm going to pretend you're stuck. Okay, maybe you won't pretend you're stuck. Maybe you were actually physically stuck. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> What do we do over here with these? I don't remember what I did with these. Are these, are these just little left generic? No, prioritizing coal. prioritize removing the dirt. Did I? I flattened out here. I didn't actually go down any deeper. <gasps> well, we want to do that. We want to go down deeper. We want to go down into the depths of Mordor. See how this retaining wall holds up. Try that and beyond. Okay, all of our diggers for this one have decided to come to uh, dig out dirt and things rather than digging out anything else, which is absolutely fine. Because um, as we get more, we will just assign them over. have two idle assign zero idle two i'm gonna need the iron i'm gonna need the iron it's okay they'll get rest of the iron it's fine that's fine True. What I should do then is um, we'll have one assigned to dirt, one assigned to the actual thing, or coal, and then the other three will just be generic and we're going to do whatever they want to do. And we'll do the same with the copper. One dirt, one copper, and three generic do you want to do chip modifications complete oh i think that bridge somehow managed to add more guns to the ship which is interesting um but we have definitely gone from a cruiser or from a a cruise ship to a frigate at least much more military looking yeah guns upgraded the, upgrade the bridge and it gets armor all over the ship and the gun as well. Uh, load the crew. Get out the ship. And let's go exploring. Let's go to the farthest reaches. Not enough fuel. Ah, okay. We cannot go 800 kilometers. Yeah, I got a small tank still. Uh, I don't know where the next ship fuel tank is. Is it ship engine? Increases the speed and range. And the ship weapons is ship bridge. Then the fuel tank upgrade is there. <laughs> it's a long way away. 
we'll, we'll explore all the stuff near to us first. Uh, right now we're working on greenhouses, which are down here, but I wanted them for the uh, farm and chicken. Uh, but we need to do... Chickens. Chicken the egg. I forgot I... Uh, okay, eggs and chickens do not have a a tooltip. Yeah, eggs and eggs, eggs and chickens not so chicken. I I, I don't know. Never raise chickens for eggs and meat. Chickens need to provide with water and animal feed. To obtain some chickens, you can trade with the village on the world map. Uh. Yeah, possibly. Um. We want to get the new power generation as well. Uh. Didn't we have this doing that sort of thing? Isn't aren't you making animal feed? No, you're making animal feed, aren't you? Barrett animal feed, right? So yeah, we need to redo this for the chickens. Uh, PG three. Yeah, well, yeah. Pageant three is there. We're going to do greenhouses, chicken farm, pageant. Because we want to unlock all the farm things um, and then figure out what I'm doing with it. So. Yeah, we want to do all of them, but I keep I keep adding them to the queue and then having to remove them and then redo them in the queue and then be like, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Losing the plot. Losing the plot. Uh, this one at all. We need to this this needs to be done. Farm needs to be done, but I'm waiting for farm to be doing the things and then I don't know what we're doing up here. I wanna redo the oil as well, but I don't know where to put the oil in. I think the problem with the oil is we're just not getting enough oil coming in. Enemy found. Right. Um, because we're going to fill up on salt very soon. I need to do more with the salt. Um, I was, <laughs> I was thinking maybe we should just level down the limestone and dump the limestone somewhere else in the world, and then I can put my oil here because it's near the shipyard. Um, I could change this to be oil. Oil and sulfur. I think the problem is we're not generating enough oil on the map. Like I, don't, I don't feel as if we're probably generating enough oil for our shipyards to do the thing. Um, yeah, I could add two oil and let it get both. in battle dagger 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 dagger
I really want to reinstall World of Warship. We win! Hooray! And we found a structure, a coal mine. Wasn't expecting that. Don't need it. Don't need it, so we'll leave it for the minute. Um, right, okay. So yeah, oil. Um, yeah, I don't think we can. I think once we get out of them reaches, we can't get back anyway. We, we have to come back anyway because we don't have enough enough things to do whatever with it uh, enough um what's the word i'm after here enough fuel we don't have enough fuel to do anything with it okay so even though there is there is stuff to your mind here you're choosing not to do it which is fine i suppose bet you off for that one Digging the thing here, another fine, I suppose. Could probably update some of these to uh, have bigger storages. Did I say mine or fill? Uh, I said fill the outside. Uh, it is mine in here, and fill the outside. And the outside has been filled, which is very nice of them. Interesting that this is not actually symmetrical by the looks of things. Because you're out, no, you're not out on the edge, are you? you know, there's the edge. And then you've got like a whole tile between it. And there's the edge, and there you've got a whole tile between it. Too. Okay. So yeah, this this is what I wanted to do. Actually, just dig out all of that. Like that. Go, dig, 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 dig. Okay, you're digging down here. Fine. We have another excavator which can go into here. Oh, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Cool. Oh, we could add another truck because why not? We may be able to do here. I don't know whether it's going to work that way or not. Um, but let me let me go into planning mode just to have a look to see whether it will work the way I'm thinking. If we put two of these in, and uh, we would like to just, for instance, say this is all going to be potatoes, and then we get one of the large Uber storages. It will line up. It will line up with it. 
cool. Then it can feed both at once. So we can just snap it onto it and it will feed both at once. Uh, which would mean we'd have to figure out more space between the town centre and the farms here. Um, which is which is cool. And then we could move some of these around and things, move shuffle things about, and do things and change stuff like change our water system here because we're also going to have to change the water system as well because the water system isn't going to work where it is. Maybe we could come off this side for the water system. I feel like doing stuff on this side may not be a bad idea for some things. Yeah, we've got a nice beach coming down here and we've got our house down here, but... Yeah. Yeah, we need to get ready for chickens with corn and stuff as well. Uh, greenhouses is some of the, I know the farms are the same size uh, used up with greenhouses I think they can upgrade for them so what I want to do is build some farms up here as a temporary sort of measure I'm in plan mode, yes. I'm in plan mode. Um, and then say, like, this is going to be... This, this is our temporary farm whilst we remove the stuff down there so that our villagers can still get all the things they need to get. So you're going to do the whole potato thing. You're going to do the whole potato thing because you are both connected to the same storage. Otherwise, that won't work. Boom, there you go. You would be doing the same thing there. Cool, cool, cool. And then generally, we just want to... Uh, did that connect to out or in? Uh, it connected to out. Because it appears that I always make that mistake over and over and over. And I do not know why. Oh, there we go. Okay. And you're going to be potato. Not that it matters, but you're going to be potatoes and I'm going to keep you empty apart from one because it seems okay if you direct connect it, if you feed it through belts, sometimes it goes wrong. So I'm just going to have that slightly off so at least it's got space to put things in i don't know something seems weird with that something seems very bizarre oh All right okay so that's going to be doing the thing there that's fine and then i just basically want to copy that and paste it up here um leave a gap between so trucks and everything. doesn't matter about giving them water or anything like that um uh for the minute i mean water we we uh oh no they do they need no they don't need water because they get water from from raining and stuff uh, uh this is going to make sure I'm, I'm going to make sure basically this both these storages are completely full before we do anything over here anyway we got to flatten the land down here as well we've got to do loads of land work and stuff here so this is just a an add-on to it. We will get some catches and things. Uh, our, to be honest with you, our fertilizer is not doing anything. Our fertilizer is not doing anything at all. I've not seen it be used for a really long time. Uh, uh, you've got fertilizer in you. You barely have any. You've got none. So fertilizer is not great. Uh, to be honest with you. Uh, and this is going to be... Uh, veg, isn't it? Veg and green manure and veg, green 
manure. There we go. Not going to worry about any other crops. The only other crop we got is, is bread, but we want to change bread round anyway. So that should be enough to keep our town going whilst we redesign things down here. That's all I want to do there. We can add some water things in. Why not? I don't know how much you may have had. Can get by there, trucks can get by here, blah, blah, blah. water catches are passive. Okay, let's use our unity if we can to build this. Ba -bum. There we go, think we can. And that should be enough because we are we're constantly getting the whole uh, farms can't do anything we can also turn off the edict which gives us other things plus we could probably upgrade these farms to be the greenhouses which means they require more water and fertilizer, but we, do they need fertilizer? Crops require 13% water and fertility. So it needs more water. And you need to do more with the fertility, but you get 25% bonus. Yeah. Crop cycle. Yeah. See, this is a little... Uh, yeah, see, I'm... Because I'm, the... Uh, the soil fertility, this is for fertilizer. We don't have any fertilizer, so these numbers were wrong anyway. What we're we missing? Oh Jesus, 240 glass. Oh, we're probably missing glass. <laughs> okay, uh, we delivered. We delivered those two. Didn't delete these ones. Yeah, we're, we're probably out of glass. Uh, let's have a look here. 241. Yeah, we're, we're we're a little bit low on glass, but that's okay. Preparing upgrade. That's fine. You can get it, and then you can do the upgrade later. Um. Okay, they need more water than the others, but that's fine. I should have also put a water storage on the end so that they're not just reliant on the 40 water in here. Especially if we're going to use more water. It may not be a great idea. That will definitely deal with some salt. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed you do. Um... Yeah, you're pumping all your water into here. Mind you, it might just be that these aren't catching up because it's not full yet. I just really feel like I should have put some water storage back here. We're gonna do we're gonna do water storage back here. Because I'm upgrading to greenhouses and I'm really concerned that they're just going to die. Um, but yeah, that, that's an idea as well. We, you, you can use them as templates. They're doubled up, connected all up. Um, it's just getting the fertilizer in as well, which would be kind of awkward. I mean, this is really nice, and this kind of lines up absolutely smack bang perfect with those. But you can't put two types of water inside a storage tank. So.
we'd have to bring in pipes for the fertilizer. So if I run this back there, for pipes and things so you would pipe into there 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 that leaves me enough space to get pipes in for the uh, fertilizer Glasses out of 211. Wow, that makes the game laggy. All those blocks makes the game very laggy. And there we go, now it's sped up nicely. These are going to get built here. This is going to be done here. We've still got some stuff to do and bits and pieces to do them. Veggie row housing. Yay! Potatoes! Potatoes, 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 potatoes. Potatoes for days. Kind of annoying how it lines up fine back here. You know? These lined up beautifully back here. Don't at the front. They don't line up at the front. They're offset. So you've got to have like one and the other. But yeah. But um, I think what I need to do as well is I might have to have some space in between these as well to uh, to do things. Um, like maybe even make this longer between here. So we can get vehicle access down the back should we need it for whatever reason. There you go, there's our spuds. Cool. There is our the veggies doing their things. Got a while to go yet. Definitely out the front, I think I want to put a track because there's only there's only going to be like one output on the front, so might as well just make it long and, and do that. Uh, but the idea I think is going to be to take the farms and rotate them so this output is directly above, is is here, and then just across the way would be these. So maybe the farms would output on belts into the storage and the storage would be connected to the market. So our road would be moved from here up a couple of tiles. And then we can do stuff like that as well. And then I'd leave a bigger gap between the two. Um, so we'd have like, say, potatoes here, veggies here, and then some else here and some else here. I don't know if it'll fit or not. We might not need all this stuff on the back either. Just look at the spacing here. So if that was going to go there, we wouldn't be able to get one behind.
probably could if we got rid of those water planners. And they, the water planners won't be there, though, will they? We, we won't be using those. We'll be doing something else with the water. Don't know what. Don't know what we're going to do with the water, but we're doing something else with the water. Yeah. And I'm hoping two fields of potatoes under greenhouses should be good enough. That is a lot of glass. Um, I really want to upgrade the glass storage to like an uber storage but I don't think one would fit in it anywhere no so we'll just upgrade all these instead so at least we're able to store twice the amount of glass so that when we want to build the uh, all of these things, we can do them all at once. Excavator has no fuel. Why? Also, why are these still not being emptied yet? Dag, damn it! Nowhere for concrete. We're waiting for materials. Iron plate. All the iron plate. That dies a death very quickly. That iron plate dies a death very quickly. We may have to move this as well. Um. delivery purpose yeah yeah all the rest do appear to be doing that and they're out of fuel and i don't get why they're out of fuel that is very very bizarre um where are the fuel trucks why did you wait so long or is it because the excavators use so much more fuel the little ones can't deal with it so we may have to upgrade to the big ones anyway we run out of workers? Workers could be a thing. Oh yeah, an excavator is basically um, a whole truck. A whole mini truck. <laughs> Takes 27 fuel. I do think we're going to have to replace all of our... Uh, all of our all of our trucks with big one truck just once you got i want you go up to them just do the lot do the absolute lot and be done with it copper however is really good so what we're going to do is we're going to undo all these and uh we're going to scrap them so that we can start building the other one uh, that was not the right button to do you scrap you you scrap and I am also going to scrap myself and go to bed because this is quarter past four in the morning again the sun is coming up well the sun isn't coming up yet but it's getting bright outside um, and I really need to stop doing this because um, I do have work I do have work <laughs> luckily I don't start work till 2pm so we're okay I've got 10 hours left yet uh, Turn the beacon off, otherwise I'll forget it's on. But I think we're going to have a week of playing captive industry. I kind of feel like that. I kind of feel like that. The rising is still going. I am still doing stuff in the background with it. Um, just basically, I'm sending my people out, coming back, and uh, getting the research and stuff like that as well. Um, so I will finish that off. We will go and kill the bosses on it. Like, but 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 um, I'm really enjoying this game and a game hasn't grabbed me for a long time that can keep me playing until 4am normally about half past two i'm yielding well about two o'clock i'm yielding my head off but, but yeah and i like this and it's fantastic and it's 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 not stupidly quick oh have you come to the bottom of the coal 
I think that's it. I think that's the bottom of the coal. What level is that? Minus 15? I'm kind of going to let him dig. I just, I just, we're we're going to let him dig. I think, I think we, oh, there's the wrong button. Uh, should we go down to like minus 20 or something here? Minus 20 seemed like a good number. We start at two, don't we? Yeah, I think ground level is two. So 18. Go down to 18. That's 20 tiles deep. And then we'll dig out flat. Here. and we will start getting some limestone from this as well at some point uh, but we'll dig out a nice big area here um, and then once we've dug down the side a little bit we can flatten this out and dig this out to be 20 deep here which does mean in the future in the distant future when we when we use all the coal up on the side here we're going to have to replace this here because it's going to collapse but it probably needs it anyway uh, because right now it's using electric assembly, so I should probably replace it with generic ones. And probably put it a bit closer to the copper as well. But, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to run it out flat, and then we'll have the slope come into the side, and then we'll run it back out flat this way. So, yeah. And it can, um, it can do its thing. Uh... Oh, we lost the we lost the barrier. That makes sense because we filled this in with dirt and gravel, but this is all all sorts of broken here. So we'll have to fill it in with with the. We'll have to figure this side out. We'll have to figure this side out. But nah. anyway, we shall leave this here. We shall return later. Um, for me today, so uh, yeah, it's gonna be gonna be. But we'll be back. We'll be back later. So, aha, zoop, ba. Yes, we shall we shall return. Uh, ten thirty British Standard Time tonight with some more Captain Ministry, and I'm gonna play it all week. I think. That's what we're gonna do, providing I'm alright, because my throat is already going there. Yeah. But that's because I've not been drinking. But that's okay. So we'll have to we'll have to just uh, carry on, and. Uh, see how it goes in the future what's the worst that could possibly happen who knows who knows so okie dokie thank you all very much for watching um i hope you have enjoyed this one and i hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun